Hello, everyone. Chad here. Uh, if you wanted to skip ahead to just the reviews, if uh, the banter and the catching up isn't really your style, uh, go ahead and skip ahead to the 56 minute mark. That is where we will conduct our reviews for both Lightyear and the movie Prey. If you wanted to watch Lightyear, it is currently streaming on Disney Plus. And if you wanted to watch Prey, it is currently streaming on Hulu. Um, as well, please uh, tell all your friends about us, share us. Um, please write in if you have any questions, comments, or anything of that sort, suggestions, any requests for movies that you want us to talk about. We would love to hear from you. That is at cowjuicepodcast uh, at gmail.com. Um, as well, please check out the sister podcast. It is a true crime podcast called Utterly Unbelievable, spelled with two Ds, just like cow utters. It is uh, myself and my wife, who is much more funny and more learned than I am, discussing the lesser sung true crime stories uh, that are out there. So give that a listen. It's a whole lot of fun and it takes a lot of work. Okay, here it is. So, Steve, how's your week, man? I was waiting for a welcome. Welcome to uh, Cow Juice Movies. Welcome how's it going, Cow fellas? Juice Movies, where we talk about the movies that we uh, milk the cows. Chad also definitely just starts commenting on visual things, which is great for an audio Spill medium. the tea. Yeah. Gonna so start, like, all I need in... to say is dump that Are you going to start bitch. adding in... You like, know what I'm talking about? Sound effects. I was like... Yeah, like the slide I think we can... need a sound. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> We sound drops. Sound I don't think we do need sound. If we have like a sound pad, like a drum yeah, pad, that's what I'm saying. Like, like yeah, deck type of thing or whatever. Yeah. Stop the cap. Yeah. No. Uh, hey, fellas. Hey, oh, hey. How's it going? We probably sound a little bit better. The the quality's a little bit better We've this upgraded. time around. We definitely have upgraded. I actually invested into this podcast thanks to Steve. Uh, we upgraded? invested a new laptop yeah. and I'm an additional lie. mic. I still think it's very pound for pound the best computer you can buy. Right Probably, now, honestly. $1, yeah. It's still the best. Yeah. I'm ve- I'm super impressed, man. Sponsors, I really like it. Apple. Well, no, like, like <laughs> yeah, because they're really hurting for brand recognition. <laughs> yeah. well, okay, so this is... They need to get into amateur podcast fields. Yeah. <laughs> I ha- I bought I'm a computer. brand ambassador. Should we, talk about, should we just talk about computers? Maybe a little tech corner? Tech corner. Okay, tech, tech corner. corner with Steve. This is, corner. this is our weekly tech corner that never happens. Yeah. So here's our weekly <laughs> Except tech for corner. this one time. We are tech nerds. I'm pretty firmly established in the the... Android and Apple world at this point. I'm, so that's what's the most surprising about yeah. this is that you've always been vehemently anti-Apple yeah. when yeah. it comes to phones. Because they didn't make a product that was better. Not back then. So I remember specifically when yeah. like you started this whole, like, I have two Google phones right now, yeah. both in my hand right now, and yeah. it's far superior than your Apple, your yeah. iPad, I, Apple I, iPhone 3. I can't say it was like, I think changed. it was a 3.5 that you were just like, it's bullshit. I don't know when that changed, really. You went from the 3 to the 4, which was the classic, right. to the 5. But I, I don't really know when that, like, Clearly, I mean, I just wanted options. So Android was so much more open. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I, could, you I could customize it like know crazy. When it happened for you? When? When you got a job and they gave you an iPhone and they made you start using oh, that. And then you also had, iPhone? yeah. And then yeah. you also had to use a MacBook. Yeah. And then you were like, oh wow, this all integrates together. Really, yeah, no really shit. Well. <laughs> nice. yeah. yeah. And then at the same everything time, talks to each other. And then That's at the true. same time, Pixel released like their worst version of their phones. I think it was the four for you that kind of ended it. Uh, it was, no. Or was it the th- three? Al, my Ali had the three. I had the two. I liked the two. The two was it just like two as was soon, one of the greatest. Dude, dude it was it wild was, though. Was After like immediate, yeah. like as soon as my two year contract went up, it fucking took a shit. Yeah. Like I've yeah. never seen planned obsolescence so I liked hard. The two. I had the two. I had the Pixel. We had the two Google forever. Nexus. It was a great I had phone. Two for very long. I think yeah. I had it for more, more than two years, which yeah. is like a crazy. You amount. skipped the thir- three. I and you went the to the three, four. Went to the four XL. I kept my two until five. And I five like was the four Yeah, do you like? Oh, really? It's not great. It's I do miss the facial recognition stuff. That was really great. Really fast. Would have sucked for for the pandemic. But it had the Soli thing, the Soli chip, where you. Could they wave. still haven't fucking figured out wearing a face mask for face ID. Yeah. Apple Watch. It's gotten yeah 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 that's gotten better. But uh, the uh, having the having the the you could wave it at your phone and it would skip tracks that was cool. But yeah, it had a Pixel 4 XL and then I had a Google or I had a uh, iPhone 12 Pro Max at the same time. Yeah, and it had and uh, it did 
everything the four did, but better and then some more. Well, so the thing is, is that I never really liked the iPhone camera yeah. versus the Pixel camera. Mm -hmm. And that was probably true until this probably this last year. I still think the Pixel takes better still photos. Yeah. So when I look at them, I'm like, wow. I do like the wider wide angle on the iPhone for pictures, but I still think the Pixel takes better photos. Well, I believe the Video, Pixel, though. The Pixel, I believe, is still using the same software from no. 2. Did they finally upgrade they it? upgraded with the 6. So okay. I have a, right now I have an iPhone 13 Pro Max and a Google Pixel 6 Pro. So I have the best of both of those worlds. Yeah. And, it's, I mean, that's the reason I have the iPhone is because the video. The video is still, like, game-changingly better on the iPhone than it is on the Pixel. So, I mean, it's better on the Pixel. Yeah. Like, it, it'll shoot it. But um, at this point, the biggest thing is just simply being able to airdrop your video or your content onto your laptop yeah. seamlessly versus it's, having to it's wild, it dude. yourself. Or, and, like, uh, even uh, for the most part, the new, like, Xbox, like, really works well with Apple products, too, mm -hmm. which is surprising okay. considering it's Microsoft. Yeah. Um, far better than anything else, like any Android tablet or yeah. anything I've ever had. Like, I, I have an iPad for drawing, and, yeah. like, it used to be for recording, but now it's exclusively for, like, Procreate and stuff. Yep. Um, no, which is also a, such want. such <laughs> such a benefit of having the laptop is like now I have a dedicated space for like audio and yeah. a dedicated space for drawing and stuff like oh, that, yeah. and um, like it it just yeah everything working together is fucking amazing like it's this nice. is this is genuinely like what you expected when like, you were like a little kid mm -hmm. and like you got like I'm gonna have a thing that's right. on my wrist that opens so, my door so I'm still pretty good. Uh, Still pretty cemented in the Google Google verse because my laptop. Well, my laptop is a Chromebook, but the okay. Chromebooks are not nearly as powerful as MacBooks by any means. No, they're, no they're, but they're basically netbooks, well, right? They, they're specifically designed to just be used as a quick What's tablet. What's Chromebook and quick cost right now? What is your? Chromebook? It's like two hundred bucks. Oh, it's bucks. cheap. Yeah, okay. they're really cheap. That's their whole. But I think that's the I draw like it, is that they're cheap and they get the drop done for like a year cheap. and a half. But they don't. Crazy. They do good for like taking notes and just kind of surfing and doing app stuff. But if, it wanted, if you wanted to, say, record a podcast, they don't have the power to do that. Right. They don't have the ability to back that up. I see. If you wanted to record a lot of video and you wanted to do actual tech work, right. no, you can't do it on So those. I was in the same page yeah. for uh, notebooks yeah. and ultra-portable computers um, until um, I hated the la – I like the size of that MacBook Air because I'm a backpack – yeah, office person. So I use my backpack. I am pretty mobile. I have to. I don't want to carry a pro around with me. <clears throat> so this MacBook Pro usually just lives in my office. Yeah. Um. So I wanted like an ultra book or something lighter, and it took. I hated the last MacBook Air, not the M1 one. Yeah. The one before that. The keyboard was bullshit. You know, they literally like lost a class action lawsuit of like a billion dollars. Yeah. For that. <laughs> so I hated it. So when they finally did the new keyboard M1 MacBook Air, that's when I fully actually spent my own money, not mm -hmm. company work money, on a computer. I bought the MacBook Air, M1 MacBook Air, that that I just sold to Chad. So that's why you know make everything a little bit better, I think. Yeah. For him, but it's it's still an amazing computer. The only thing they did is they put out the M2 MacBook Air that has that uh, neural engine, which is a little bit 30% fa uh, faster to processing yeah. graphics and video, which I'm doing more video editing. Um, and it's the only reason. But pound for pound, the Ma M1 MacBook Air. If you're looking to spend buy a computer for under a thousand dollars, the M1 MacBook Air is the best computer you can get for yeah. under, under a grand. Um, like no no contest. But yeah, if you're ever looking to upgrade from your your Chromebooks, uh, what do you use at work? Uh, at work, I'm I don't use a laptop. I don't have oh. to use a laptop because we've got PCs yes. there. Well. It, it's federal contracting, yeah. so we have to use a federal computer. Yeah. So it's like this, just like little brick computer. Um, Did you get you another travel? new job? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> so it's like the small thing with the. Yeah, but it has the, it does quite a bit. You know, I mean, it's just Windows and, and shit. Yeah, like yeah. That on it. yeah. So I'm moving my, my office of set up away from Windows yeah. to just living in Apple because I'm using both. Mm -hmm. So I use Android. I have a Pixel. Yeah. So I use Android. I use. Uh, the MacBook, the iPhone, my other MacBook, and then I have a Windows mm -hmm. uh, uh, desktop setup, dual monitor desk setup. Yeah. So it does. So there are times in my workflow in my day where I just stop, 
and have to remember what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing, like how to do something. <laughs> yeah. Because it doesn't work seamlessly. Kind of difficult. Well, so, so there is, like, like I said, I'm still pretty versed in the Chrome universe, and so I have my, my Chromebook and my Pixel work beautifully together yep. as long as I'm using Google Apps and Google so software. I but, will say, I, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, but, like, the problem with Chromebooks is Google doesn't make them. No. They had the Pixel books. They were overpriced for yeah. what they did. But they, they, hardware. Oh, yeah, they I give it to about the hardware. Pixel books. Yeah, yeah, hardware was not hardware. Yeah, hardware is given out to Acer to all of the yep. HP. Everybody makes a Chromebook now. Yep. Um, so they don't all work the same. No. So that's the biggest issue. The yep. universe doesn't really quite mesh because you source it to everybody else. So I do. I will say I. I do use Chrome browser on my Macs. Oh, yeah. Um, and I know Safari I'm supposed to use Safari, sucks. whatever. But I use that, and it's nice because it'll hand, it'll do the handoff really well. Mm -hmm. and it'll hand off off my phone. So actually, I can like it's great because I can use my Pixel or my iPhone. Yeah. Um, and like if I need to send something to my phone or whatever, it's really nice. But When it comes to software, Google and Apple can kind of match. It's just Apple can also do the hard. I know. The problem is, though, it's like at this point... You know, I have Apple Watch. Yeah. At this point, I have AirPods. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like... Well, when work gets you some of the stuff, and then it's like, well, to integrate even more, might as well. Yeah, I mean, like I've if, spent all like of that. Where I'm at with Google right now, if yeah. Google ever does release the fucking Google Watch, they will. I would definitely... <laughs> it's supposed to come out. I, yeah, it's it's it, they keep saying that for I the almost, last 400 years. Well, so here's what I haven't decided yet. I really Jesus wanna, is supposed to right? come back too, Steve. <laughs> I, I want to buy, buy the new... Uh, Pixel Buds Pro. Mm -hmm. oh, those do look good, they though. They look great, and I really want to buy them. I like my AirPods However, Pro, but... exactly, I have AirPods Pro, and, like, I think they're probably better integration between the two. Oh, and they're probably and better hardware. I'm thinking about you getting... You just know they're better. Yeah. yeah. I'm just, thinking about getting the Maxes. Like, I, I, I miss having a I monitor have, headphones. I almost got them in my cart. I got, like, a $200 Apple gift card, and I'm like... Ooh. What's but the, I, here's the problem. They're $500. I think it's way overpriced. It's so overpriced. Was the overpriced. Pixel 6 Pro the one that they teamed up with Samsung to make, or are they doing that for the next one? No, Pixel 6 Pro, sort of, to answer yeah. your question. The Pixel 6 Pro is a uh, Google Tensor chip, which is yeah. their first yeah. crack at SOC for mobile. Yeah. So they're using an existing um, Samsung chip mm -hmm. that they have custom modified okay. for them. So technically, it's still they're still calling it a Samsung chip. I believe that is what the next uh, architecture and the next one is too. Yeah. They're not quite there yet. It took it took Apple a while to do this too, um, with their A chips, the yeah. Bionic chips. But we're getting there. We're getting closer. I think you know. Well, because I'm not sticking around with the yeah. pixels. I think I'm done with this one. Yeah. Well, I can. I mean, I heard the pixel. rumor like people when they first announced the Samsung Google partnership type of thing. Yeah. Everybody thought, oh. Samsung's going to make the phone, Google's make the software. And nah, that would be they beautiful. It. Yeah. yeah. That would be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> but of yeah. course, they're not going to do that. Yeah. So, <laughs> nah, man, it's a Honda Accord engine and a Lamborghini. I know. <laughs> do it. I, <laughs> you can take a Honda Accord and make it fast. <laughs> That's a good point. Okay. Maybe <laughs> bad choice, but still. I, 1992 Acura Legends. <laughs> just right in. The there was better value in getting the Pixel 6 than the iPhone because of the storage. Yeah. So I have a 512 gig Pixel 6 Pro. I like yeah. Mac Daddy it out. Um, and it's a lot cheaper than the... It's I think it's equal storage size to the 128 gig iPhone. Okay, yeah. Um, so like that's a pretty sizable storage difference. So I love that I did that because I went way too... I went 64 gig on my, my last Pixel and I ran out of storage. Well, yeah, they don't... They don't offer very good options on the Pixels. For no, those. they do. They do. Like, the 512 is great. Because, like, the, the 512 iPhone is almost, like, $1,800 or something like that. Well, I, I meant the Pixels don't offer many storage options. Oh, there's 128, 256, and 512. For the 6? Yep. Oh, wow. Okay. So, I know the 5 was 64. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, 64 and 128. There were two, is that it? Or no, the 5. Maybe not the yeah, 5. Yeah, I think Maybe the 5 was the, just 64. The 5 was not really, we don't count that. Six, the 5 ended up being just a mid phone. Yeah, we don't count it that. Wasn't an, a, it wasn't a top a, It was a five, like a 4.5A. Yeah. <laughs> it was a 5A. Um, but, yeah, I think, like, if somebody was like, I want a Pixel 6 Pro, I'm like, cool, I'll probably sell this phone and move on. Because I think I'm done. I think, I, as much as I love it, as much as I like having the Android, I'm... I still like the interface better. I like the way you can, like, one of the things that drives me crazy, and Apple users won't understand this, is that to go backwards, 
So if you want to go backwards on an iPhone, you can't always swipe left, like swipe from the left to go yeah. backwards. Sometimes it works, but like on Instagram, you have to go to the top and hit back. Oh yeah, okay. Right, but on a Pixel, you can always do that. Yeah, yeah, it's intuitive. Yeah. No, but on a Pixel, I can swipe left to go back, or right. but I can also swipe right to go back. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. That's really nice. Oh, you can customize how you want no, your no, gestures. No, it's just it's always stock. like that. Oh, stock weird. Structure. So the going back huh. and the swiping is Look at really, that. really nice. That's I never do left. Yeah. Just oh, I get what you're saying, though. Like, it is kind of hard to move from so, that. I like yeah. what you've always yeah. done. So yeah, there's fair. There's two things going on there. One, the Pixel 6 Pro is much more narrow, so you can actually reach the other side of the phone if you had to go up to the top left, like on the iPhone, to go back. But the iPhone 13 Pro Max, and again, I'm yeah. getting the big fuckers. Yeah. It's too wide for me to reach my thumb all the way up, so I kind of have to two-hand it. And since I've been one-handed, oh, fuck. it's pretty tough. So yeah. I have to get the ring on the back, or I have to put it on my thigh. I have to two-hand it. It's like my dick. So yeah. now that we've bored everyone to death talking about it. <laughs> I can't <laughs> wait to title this episode Prey or so One of our listeners just like, no, I'm done. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like I said, I'm going to start like front-loading these with a, hey, if you want to get to the review for know. Lightyear. I feel like this, this is, is part of it. It's dirty shit. It's this is part of it. But you know We're the skeletons and David Pumpkins. You know there are people that are just into the pop culture shit, and they're like, what the fuck is this? We're sorry. <laughs> you want to know where we're really doing well? Where? Italy. Italy. Yeah, we keep like consistently growing more listeners what in Italy. What are we doing in Italy? I don't know, oh, okay. but like I don't where know. Where in Italy? Uh, it doesn't say. It just okay. says uh, Italy, and like uh, it just says Milan. I don't know where in Italy. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, let's see, Milan, yeah, Monaco as well. Like that well, area is those fucking are weird. Just Donald Trump's ex-wives. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and, like, we're also doing really well in Colorado, okay. Minnesota, and New York, which I hope... White people that, love us. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. White people love us. New York, yours? Maybe. I don't know. Could um, be. Your art pipeline? We do need recruiting to... recruiting pipeline? Could be, yeah. <laughs> we do need to just keep promoting yeah. ourselves like a motherfucker. Uh, I told we're just going to promote ourselves to Australia. They love podcasts. Man. We're mm -hmm. going to do pictures of us in bikinis. Um, yeah. So how was your week, man? All right. Who let's, am I? Yeah, let's start with you. Week. Two weeks, man. <clears throat> Quiet week. Oh, yeah, I guess it has been, huh? Two weeks. Um, I did a Donkeys and Donuts event with Matt's mom in their nonprofit Rescue Horse. Um, res Saturday. Mini Horse Rescue. This is legitimate. This is a mouthful. Yeah, yeah. I, I cannot Cowboy tell if you're fucking with Cowboy me. Cowboy Heaven Miniature Horse Safe Haven. Yep. And they really? I didn't know your mom does. Your mom runs a, a non-profit? Yeah. I didn't know that. Mini horses, go she just started check them out. What is cool. the website, Matt? What's that? What's the website? CowboyHeavenMiniRescue.org. God, that must be a, okay. a dream come true for her. That's amazing. It is. Really They're on good Instagram. for her. Matt, what's the tag for it? Yeah, yeah, please. Sorry, I'll stop talking. Shut the fuck up, Chad. <laughs> the Instagram one is actually Zippy and the Gang. So Z I P P Y. I take and it Zippy gang. is one of the horses. One of the horses. Yes. Yay. And then is that also the TikTok? The TikTok <gasps> is just Cowboy Heaven Res. There's a TikTok of the a mini video. horses. I'll show you the video after this. Fuck yeah. Um, yeah, there's a TikTok. I'm not. I need to learn how to edit. Did you like Steve. my video? I gotta tell I you, man, your uh, your last Hot Wheels video like made oh, me yeah. tear up. Like, it's good, right? I don't even collect Hot Wheels, and I was yeah. just like, fuck, I need to like buy some toys. We'll look at these uh, afterwards. Yeah, I'll show this so to the, Matt. Yeah, the TikTok one is at that's four hundred six Hot Wheels. Rescue. I also have a Hot Wheels uh, uh, TikTok. <laughs> you do. It, it, you follow. Uh, Cowboy Heaven Rescue. Cow Juice on technically TikTok. has a TikTok. Yeah, but nobody does anything with it. Nope. Again, I have a lot. I make a lot of content, so I need to make some content. Please, for you. Uh, uh, mine is just Cow Juice Chad, so it's my specific one. If you wanted to start a Cow Juice one and just make random shit for us, I would please make a feel separate free. one. I'd probably just use that one. But I'll okay. probably just well, I'll, we'll pick a day or I'll make some content for you. Okay. But yeah, it's uh, yeah. No, it was a good time. It was in the rain. It was fun. Donkeys and donuts. Oh yeah, I got a, I got a. We got donkeys. Uh, I got when was a, this? We went through nine, nine too. dozen fucking donuts before oh, like yeah. ten o'clock. When was this? Was this Saturday. the day that you posted Saturday. that picture of Granny's donuts? Yeah. So no, Granny's. That was afterwards. I went, so I woke up early, yeah. drove into Granny's when they opened, picked up five dozen donuts. For people Granny's. who don't know, Granny's is like the donut shop yeah, in Bozeman. Yeah, it's the best. He's <laughs> it's, it's a they're, twin, bar they're barely ever open. Okay, it's, it's, a, it's a big bearded man and his twin brother. Who his also, twin brother owns the porn shop. Yeah. So <laughs> How you know, dare you? Who's it's also a, a big bearded It is a hey. sexaporium. The magic is in the hole. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So They both handle cream field holes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we That's how he actually pokes out donuts, the donut holes. And we're out of them in about an hour, 
So then I was like, Fuck. yeah, it's just a butt so plug. He just got, uses this like a like. Huh. We got another four dozen. Yeah, and we ran out of those. God damn. Like less than an hour or two. So yeah. you gotta let me know when shit like this is going on. Allie and I would have had a ball. Actually posted it on Facebook. Yeah, I'm not on Facebook. I deleted my Facebook well, in 2016. You gotta tell me in a way that only I can get, which is gonna be have to be some kind of hentai porn. We, also, we are friends. Yeah, yeah. Fucking find me on rule34.net. Exactly. That's fucking in the funny. comments underneath. I fucking Lois Valley okay, from S. Told by Jin. I don't know what your fucking problem is. So, anyways, uh, you, you you know we're all Did friends. Rocky Mountain has a Reddit. You no. okay? <laughs> Bozeman does. Um, Bozeman has a subreddit. I should put it on Reddit. Anyway, so I, I did that, that yeah. over the weekend. But, uh, um, text me, text me. I've been the hey Chad, yeah. we're friends. I didn't really like small animals. That's really unkind of you. <laughs> you only like satanic cats, to my knowledge. That's fair. Anyways, it was um, just goats and donkeys. And yeah, a couple horses. Yeah. <laughs> there were goats? Yeah. And donkeys? They were naming the goat. No. That was the whole point of this. You named the goat. Oh, the, the goat is now named the goat father. I want to meet the goat. Yeah, baby goat. Let me know, the next, time. Cute, Let me know the next time there's something there. Like, I'll volunteer or something. Okay. Kind of have to do another one. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I did all my charity for Matt's mom. Yeah. I'm going to do. Uh, for the year. <laughs> <laughs> they raised $1,600 in this yeah. event, so it was great. Yeah. Um, so did that. I've been going to get away out of town, so we're not going to be recording next week. Yep. Uh, we'll release, next week? Uh, what's that? Is it next week? Uh, yeah. I'll be okay. gone. I'll be, no, next week I'll be You're here. You're going to after. Philly, you said? Pittsburgh. So Pittsburgh. the week after I'll be gone. Uh, so don't next week don't mix those up. Fuck no. Yeah. You're in trouble now. Totally opposite. Uh, East Coast, West Coast route. And I watched some movies, which we'll talk about here shortly. Yeah. yeah. Nothing else crazy. Really. Oh, I went and saw a show. Country oh. show. Yeah, yeah what did you see? I went to see Reckless Kelly at the old saloon, um, but they had COVID, so it was just the singers. Steve. Oh, God. Steve's going to be my date to a country show in, in October. Cody Johnson? Oh. Cody Johnson. Who I've never heard of. But there's. Oh, no, I'm thinking tickets. of Cody Jinx. Yeah, um, it's a different one. Yeah. I don't know, dude. It's going to be a good time. Matt's going to go to a country show with me. Corn yeah. makes corn. We're gonna corn get makes boots. corn. We're going to get some boots. We're going to get a hat. When you go get hats, please let me know. Maybe we'll see. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know when we'll, you know when we'll let him know when yeah. we're there afterwards. Yeah. He'll, <laughs> He'll see the video. Selfie. He'll see the video. The I make. He'll be like, what the fuck? <laughs> you find out about everything I'm doing a couple days after. Yeah. <laughs> when I get around to making a video about it. I'm so alone. Tacos. You're not. You're married. That doesn't count. You're married <laughs> and you don't hang out. And, and you, you have a child. A week. I don't hang out because I'm not invited to shit. That's not true. I'll hang out. That's not true. When was the last time you invited me to something? Hi. Tonight. Okay, and I showed up. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, how about Late. That? <laughs> <laughs> with food, and I would have gotten you something too if you would ask. All right, Chad, what have you been up to this week? Uh, the last two weeks, uh, yeah, same, same. Been watching some movies. Went and saw Nope. Uh, we should, we'll talk. Oh, we can talk about that. it. Um, let's see. Yeah, we can talk about, about it. it. Uh, went up to Missoula. Me and yeah, Ali. What show did you see? The Decemberists. Oh yeah. Connor. Yeah. Is it Connor? I think it's Connor Oberst, whatever. Uh, yeah, Colin. Yeah. Colin. So how many? Yeah. How many times did you cut yourself? He's, that's not the type of, it's not an emo band <laughs> it's more hipstery they're depressing they're not depressing <laughs> no they just make music and then you want to hurt yourself yes uh, anyways music to hurt yourself by yeah okay no uh, oh, I was at where uh, amph- uh, Kettle House okay yeah the amphitheater did you first time there no 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 okay. no okay. we uh, uh, Alex Ale- Ale- is a huge Death Cab for Cutie fan which oh, yeah. tracks uh, and, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The postal uh, service. I'm a big fan of postal service. Yeah. Yeah. Less death cab. Yeah. Uh, did you eat at any places I told you to go to? Yes. Where did you go? So we went to Paul's Pancakes okay. the morning after, okay. right? Perfect. Fucking. Should have gone to Burns Street Bistro, but whatever. Continue. Okay. Uh, Paul's next is time. Classic. Next time. Paul's so that's classic. the thing. Allie wanted a shirt because she's been uh, to Paul's before okay. in uh, Florence, For and me, it was just it's like, like you either get food yeah. poisoning or you get a great meal. It's one or the other. Yeah. I mean, yeah. sometimes. Sometimes both. Sometimes both at the same time. Dude, both. no, the no. Paul's stuff, pancakes. Used to be that. Paul's pancakes. Like the coffee was perfect. Yeah. Like I got chicken and waffles. It was the best. There's a bookstore right next door. So you should we went to the bookstore okay. too. There's nobody nice. here that makes good chicken and waffles anymore. No, the roost did for a minute no. and then it fell it's off. Not, I've heard the roost sucks now. What? I haven't been yeah. there in a while, but I heard they suck. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> no. They changed owners. Uh, we also went to what is this place called? Taco Bell. I know it's funny, right? Ding. What is this fucking his Kirkland called? brand shirt and then his Taco Bell pop socket? I, I think it's funny. Uh, oh God, it's a burger place downtown. Uh, 
Or Uptown Missoula. Oh. Uptown. WMB. The chain one? Oh, no. I don't think I've been there. I know there's like a there's like a fast food kind of place on yeah. off reserve. That they have the one that's thing. that's like a Marks In and Out type style. It's, it's Smashburger. Like yeah, what well, we Smash got was Smashburgers, okay. but it, like it's an actual sit down restaurant. Nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Burger Place, Missoula. What the fuck was this called? Also, Battery Life. One of the like Dude, it's wild. Uh, Wally and Buck. Oh, we well, went to Wally and Buck. Dude, oh, it's fucking. Good. Good. Right. Yeah, yeah. Smashburgers. And then you came back and you did what? Uh, came back. Uh, just been kind of hanging out. Butte, uh, Butte, you got to watch out. Oh, yeah, we went to watch yeah. out, baby. Yeah, yeah, we went to the Freeway Tavern. You've never been there before? Never. Oh, what'd you think? So that's why I asked yeah, yeah, because, yeah. like, you Google, like, okay, I know Butte's known for their pork chop sandwiches, yeah, and you pork, Google pork, pork, pork chop. See, that's the yeah. first thing that fucking pops up, and yeah. I was just like, I don't think this is it. So I texted you, and the righteous indignation that you had for me of just a like, go. Fuck yourself for asking yep. which one to go to. Yep. And it's just, I'm sorry. I don't, I, I, I haven't seen Man vs. Food in you a minute. Mentioned. I don't if know. You ever, man vs. Food, I don't think. He went there. That, yeah, he went to the Freeway Tavern. I, he didn't eat I it. could remember if it was he driving. He just steps. visited. He, yeah. he did eat it, but it wasn't for the challenge. Yeah. The challenge I will say this. Is there a challenge at the Freeway Tavern? No, no, no. He oh, just okay. went to, he's, he's the There's a burrito place in Butte that he did a challenge at. The challenge he did was Oh, okay. But it's a. Or a strong bowl or something. I can't remember yeah, what you And then next time we're going to go to that uh, Freezes place. If you're, oh, yeah. If you're Bonanza if or you're whatever. If you're in America, you have to go eat, grab a Wap Chop at the Freeway Bar. Dude. Best it's pork a, chop sandwich in town. Holy shit. Did you both eat one? Yeah, yeah. Did you fries? Yeah. Did you eat chips? Did exactly as you said. Um, hot so, mustard? Hot mustard. Yeah. We got the hot mustard fries. Did you Wap chops. Hot mustard? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Did you ask them for hot mustard? Yeah. Just fucking slabs it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to ask them. Also, yeah, that's the thing. People will tell you to go get pasties in Butte because that's and what's famous in Butte. There's no pasties in God, it was like we were you bothering go, the waiter. You can <laughs> go to Butte, but then if you want a pasty, drive to Livingston. And are they open still, the 49er? I think it is. Yeah. Okay. Should be. Yeah. You have pasty there. <laughs> yeah, I agree yeah. with that. Butte's <laughs> pasties are pretty much uh, I think this Sunday, well, Joe's Alan and I are making our... just like whatever. Joe's is closed. Is he closed? Nancy's is closed. What? <gasps> yeah. Nancy's no is closed? Yeah. I had no I idea Joe's closed. Both. God. I'm, I'm shocked No, I didn't Joe's. actually kill him. Just like killed yeah. her. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, like, she, Jesus. Well, I thought I should clarify. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so that was great. Yeah, uh, this Sunday we're making our a- a- annual pilgrimage to Mark's In-N-Out. Like, uh, fucking stuff. You only go once a year? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I used to go I know, I know. I would go... But look at me, Steve. I would go every day if I could. Yeah. yeah. Dude, if you okay. want to go, just text. If there's time in the night, I will go drive yeah. to Livingston to go, go have right Marks and Allen. Yeah. Oh, so now I have to invite you guys to stuff? No, we go do it all the time. I yeah. did it last week. God damn it. All right. Well, see, invite me. There was just something. Do you not remember? I was going to we the had concert. when we had our heart to heart, and you were just like, we should see concert. what Chad's doing. And I like my, I you started were, crying. You were in Missoula. Well, during that, yeah, yeah, good point. But yeah. Uh, with your wife, mm-hmm. since you're so alone. Yeah, yeah, we got a hotel, <laughs> which is nice. It's just uh, she's pregnant. Obviously, she's we're in we're nearing the end of the second it's trimester. Baby moon. No, no, baby moon was supposed to be Vegas, and then that fucking fell apart. Yeah, uh, wasn't that the the punk concert, the we were young thing? No, that no, no, happened? no. Uh, I don't think that's happened yet. I think it's going okay. to in September. Okay. Um, Pat got tickets to that. The Fun Fest, I'm calling Chris tonight. We are young. Yeah. Who <laughs> uh, is Patricia? Pat's doing good, man. Are we allowed to talk about it on here? Yeah, is yeah. There's no bad blood. It's so cryptic about, like, he's doing something else right now. Yeah. He can't talk about it. So, I mean, figure it's... He's respecting AA. him. Like, he it's fine. Baby. He's just killing people. Yeah, yeah. he murdered some... He, but he's okay. He yeah, hit a man fine. with his car he's and okay. drove away. All right. I just want to yeah. make sure you're okay, Patricia. Yeah, he's doing fine, man. Okay. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, there's no bad blood. Nothing. Okay. I know... I it, didn't know. I know it always sounds... Whenever you say, there's no bad blood, it always sounds yeah. like there is. But Taking honestly... Patty no, no, no. Pat just had some personal shit going on, so he put the podcast on hold. Then it became an indefinite thing. Like, that's all it is. But now it's... This has become the podcast. We are your second. Wife. This is cow juice. Yeah. yeah, you're my you're Dalmatian. Sick. You're my dumb hot little. wife yeah. at my my upgrade <laughs> that just <laughs> like you know doesn't talk too much but looks really good. That's Dalmatian? you guys. Yeah, my Dalmatian. Okay, looks really good. Doesn't do like you know not it's a lot. Not a lot close. going up okay. here. It's pretty Glen Close. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So yeah. Um, Matthew. Yeah, Matt. What have you been up to? Uh, none of that. I've just been <laughs> working my new cool. job. Start a new gig. Uh, start a new job. Is this a month that. in? Are you a month in now? Yeah, I love this peach. I, I'm not. This outfit's great. Yeah, yeah I'm August not being 20th. a dick. I love this peach shirt. Looks good. Yeah, that's hey, something I would wear. I will say, Matt, many moons ago, you couldn't dress for shit. 
It would have been all black. All the time. Lately, Why not? <laughs> Lately, you're dressing like somebody's uncle going to South Beach. <laughs> but he doesn't want to get sunburned. Yeah. And that is your new look. Doesn't want to get sunburned, it. you know. I, I don't want to get sunburned. For some if reason, I always up, I has bring claims in, man. <laughs> always has a fresca handy, you yeah. know. Like, hey, kids. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Not, yeah, not creepy, just, you know. Uh, you no, I've like been. White Warren Sapp when he played for the Bucks in the old uniforms. Uh, I've been watching some movies. Probably the what same two you guys have. Um, not as many as us? Not as many. Oh, no. how do you know that? You don't know what I watched. No, I said yeah. this, at least the same two that you oh, guys have. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't really... can't remember if I've... Oh, I've been watching a little bit of the new Harley Quinn. It's good, right? That. It's fantastic. I don't support DC anymore. Uh, okay. Um, There's a oh, lot of how reasons. We, speaking of... Do we want... Yeah, let's talk about it a little no, bit. No, we need to have a discussion about your, your boy, William Shatner... Shitting all over oh, new Star Trek. Oh, I get it. I get it. <laughs> what do you mean you get it? Mary would it roll over it. Did you see that video of Young Ahura hanging out with Nichelle Nichols before she died no. and how sweet and heart touching <laughs> no, it was? was it? Dude, yeah, it was so cry. sweet. And like Nichelle, Ni- Nichelle Nichols is just like, it's like I'm looking at a young photo of me. And it's just like, oh my God. Like, just like, I give you full... Like, I, I can it. tell that you have respect for the character. I, I give you full my full blessing to continue guys, the character. Billy and it's just like, pants. oh, my God. Billy shot his pants. <laughs> is jealous that he wasn't in the Far Superior show. He, he, per- that. he also, pretends that he doesn't know George Takei anymore. Because they had a huge fucking fall again. Well, he may not know. He might be seen now. But yeah. also, I got to be honest, I get why he's mad. Because that new Kirk kind of sucks. Yeah. Okay. Have you finished it yet? I have. Uh, I don't. It, it, New Kirk is a nothing character. It's nothing. It's a blank slate. Yeah, that's the problem. I think that he's not the, supposed to be a nothing character. No. He's Kirk. You bring him well, in. I don't want Kirk. <laughs> Arrow Flynn, though. He, I, I kind of want him to be kind of shitty at first, and like it, he becomes but the this Kirk is that how we know. You get, make sure that they don't actually. This show goes 10, 20 seasons because. You have such a shitty Kirk that no. Do you need help opening? Yeah, I'm having a lot of struggles. I don't know. I don't know. Taking the wrapping off. It does. There's no perforation. Do you need a knife? I'm am struggling. What are you doing? I don't know. I need. He help. can't unwrap his tool right now. Oh, uh, 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 he just brute forced it. <laughs> oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Uh, he, uh, he's squeezing I've it. Never seen unwrapping this. it and he's squirting all over my <laughs> cold brew. I've never seen this before. His cold brew is warm brew because it's taking on this. Because I've been holding it in my yeah. fucking yeah. sweating hands. Yeah. It's like you just discovered his records. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I, the dude who so learns to masturbate. We met. By, we met like with our who learns to jerk off by like ma- just rubbing the head of his dick. Dude, we, we, <laughs> we met with the midwife and like I. Oh yeah, Brooke. <laughs> yeah. The other day. Yeah, yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Oh cool. I like going away for another midwife. <laughs> oh. Because I'm in a midwife circle apparently. Of yeah. You are. You should just become yeah. a midwife. Are you guys I'm on good midwife. terms? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You oh. can say hi. Okay. Can you me? Yeah. Okay, cool. Because, like, I straight, like, uh... I did you bring me up? You're like, no. you have to preference going forward. No. It's all good. Well, no, she because, she, like, she, she started bringing up true crime, and me and Allie were just like, we have a true crime podcast that's actually pretty good. Yeah. And, like, she took the name down, and it was just like, do you have any other podcasts? So I was like... Yeah, it's called Cow Juice Movies. Yeah. <laughs> it's me and a couple of friends just I mean, talking I about movies. I can't remember if I told her that I had, I think I said I had some friends that, that she was going to see that. I'll name drop. I'll name drop like next yeah. time. Yeah. But yeah, we were like, that just, it just reminds me of just like how awkwardly I asked the question of, so circumcision's not cool, right? And like, it's just like, it isn't. Well, first of all, don't that's, do it. that's our opinion. If you want him to look like me, don't do it. He's, he's going to look like you. Uncut gems. Oh yeah, baby. So yeah, so but, you think uh, okay. Chad's just gonna give up drinking his coffee at this point? I don't point? know. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen such an idiotic display. Of Speaking of uncut gems, there you go, buddy. <laughs> now you can funnel that. Oh my god! Right? Chad, what? That's how you get a coffee fuck. enema. Okay, well you can't see it now. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Ugh. That wasn't. Oh, this isn't even good. <laughs> it's not very good. Well, That's unfortunate. What brand is it? Stoke. Ten degrees cool. I don't know that one. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> that any into an Audi. So yeah, like I just like because like you know I'm fuck. I've said so much wild shit on this podcast. Yeah. Like I'm I'm cut right. Yeah. So like, but Allie and I don't want to cut our son. No. So I'm just like, how do you clean it? Because I don't. 
Oh, I don't I'll know show how. You. I'll show you. Thank you, yeah. please. Yeah, we'll do on some you. He'll, he'll, okay. <laughs> he'll do cool. it on you. Yeah, yeah. I'll show you. Just, yeah. just go to the, the hospital and just go find some. Like, I'm either, I'm going to be and... like the most amazing <laughs> emotional dad, like the most amazing emotional support. But when it comes to or, practical knowledge, I'm going to be such a fucking dog shit father. Yeah, that's hopefully, what uncles are for. Hopefully, that we'll be here to handle that shit for mm-hmm. you. Like, what do I do about this? Well, don't listen to your father because. <laughs> yeah. If you want to talk about your feelings, talk to your dad. I mean, it's fine. You don't need fathers anymore. You have YouTube. You know. yeah. YouTube is you your know. dad now. Yeah, yeah, you exactly. Just tell everyone that Chad used to be a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I already give such femme energy. I'm gender queer. Let's just go with that. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> if he shaved the beard and he like got a chain wallet, he'd be somewhere between like a Rosie chain o- wallet. He'd be somewhere between Rosie O'Donnell and Ralphie May. Have you? F- oh, that dude. All right, I'm not that big, but no, no, uh, he's just the energy. oh, gotcha. <laughs> the vibe. Uh, the vibe. Like Ralphie May, you're like, is Ralphie May? Is Ralphie May? Trying to get. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have you followed Rosie O'Donnell on TikTok yet? No, I don't. Uh, think I, would. I remember I, thinking she was funny to? when I was a little kid. She's not. When funny. I was a little kid. She's never been funny. Everybody around her Harriet, and everything she's in, she's... That's, that's what it is. Yeah. It's that, she, yeah, she's coattail rider. Yeah. And let me tell you how uninteresting her TikToks are. It's yeah. impressive. It, it feels like a fucking curb bit. Anyways, sorry. Yeah. Are you okay. saying tra- uh, Steve is your lube? Yeah, 100%. Because you've loosened up a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Lubricity. Yeah, yeah, you're my KY fucking sensation. I'm your K-hole. Yeah. Do you have a backpack? Uh, Not with me, but yeah. You do have a backpack. I own a backpack, okay. yes. Like a decent backpack? Yeah, it's a okay. mystery ranch, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, name drop. Did you go buy a mystery yeah. ranch? Yeah, I got to stop dropping. Uh, Did got... you go buy one? No, Allie was given one oh. at her current job that mm-hmm. she's now leaving. Oh, are you recording now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, we'll talk about that later. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> She's working to... for a university now. Oh. Yeah. Great. Yeah, yeah. Cool. We're getting free fucking childcare and oh, yeah. and health insurance. Yeah. Great. Far, be- dude. It is Smart. beyond amazing. Wow. Like how much this is going to change things for us. Like That's it's great. it's great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Plus, fucking, did you see that there's houses going up? For like the two hundred thousands over here? Oh really? Yeah, on Camera Bridge, oh, down down that way. Two hundred thousand? I know. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I don't believe it. <laughs> it says starting in the mid two hundreds, which I assume is going to last for a week, and then well, yeah. you should sign up now. That's the thing. So, anyways, now that Uncle Corner is owner over, ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So, so what? What have what have we been watching? Right, two things, right? We watched two things. Oh, okay. Do you want to just talk about those? Okay. Yeah, right. Uh, 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 one thing I would like to say about yes. Nope. Uh, oh, you brought it yeah. up last time. It is very entertaining. You would enjoy it, Steve. It's not scary. I don't know. There's one scene that, like, genuinely that made my heart go ba-bump, and that's literally because a chimpanzee gets fucking shot in the head. And, like, that just... It did something to me. Uh, that was weird. But, anyways, uh, uh, I feel did like... Did it awaken I, something in you, or...? Yeah. Uh, no. Um, <laughs> yeah, I got really hard. Uh, I don't know why. Um, no. So I've just been buying chimp heads and shooting them. <laughs> Do you not remember me when I was a little kid and I had a bunch of stuffed monkeys? Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway. that's fair. Yep, there you go. Uh, sock monkeys. <laughs> so anyways, I made a lot of sock monkeys. Uh, Crusty. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, they got to stand up on their own. So no, no. Uh, nope is a yes. Okay. Nope is a yes. I think that everybody is uh, ruining it for themselves, though. In what way? Because the reason why Get Out was so great as a movie by itself is because that's a voice we've never a, a voice and a perspective we've never heard from before, right? It was this big explosive, like holy shit, so this is we, incredible. Are right? we sick of what's happening with this, or are we? It's not as impactful as that. Uh, everybody I wants his stuff to be Get Out. Again. I yeah, either Get Out or better than Get Out, right? Which it never will be because that was such a fucking so fresh like new the, voice when it Shyamalan happened. Problem. It's the Shyamalan problem, except so, that I would argue that Jordan. Peels actually got better ideas we, than Shyamalan. Or, so are we, is this a person of color director problem, or is this a director problem? I think, I think this is an problem. audience problem. Because well, I know, but like I'm saying, like, 
it's it's, it's, jo- it's Jordan Peele right? because he's but you allow like Fincher to do whatever the fuck he wants. You allow yeah allow Tarantino, versus it keeps happening. Tarantino <laughs> to do whatever he wants. Yeah, right? fair. So is that is that no like, no no? And I, Tarantino's a great example of people who also think well, it's not as good as this, and it's just like it never will be. That's its Doesn't own happen. fucking movie. Like well, Tarantino, it's the comparing a uh, director's work to its previous. Work. I Actually, that, I think Tarantino's okay. the opposite because I think everyone thinks his next yeah. movie is like the greatest movie yeah, he's ever yeah, made. Yeah. yeah. Which My is, point is that I feel like we're being more critical of, of people of color directors in, and in trying general, to put them in a box. At large, I say yes. Yeah. I think that movie-going audiences are putting way too much pressure on Jordan Peele when they aren't for white directors. Right. Um, Jordan and, Peele's and making movies. Going into... Like, I just making movies. Nope was great. I liked it. Kiki Palmer was fucking wonderful in it. Okay. She was... Uh, God, she what, fucking drove that movie. What was the, the name of the last one? It was... Us. Us? Yeah, I liked I did, it. I didn't it's, like it. Not much. as... Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, you know, it's fine. It's a movie. I mean, I thought it was fine. It yeah, was, like, but like, everybody's I just like, I don't get it. it. It wasn't as good as Get Out. And it's just like... It, oh, I didn't care about that. That will never happen again. Like, I, I don't well, understand that. See, the thing is, is Get Out is a horror movie. Us was more of a, like a sci-fi kind Thriller. of horror adjacent. Yeah. And then from what it sounds like, Nope is... Kind of an adventure movie. Kind of an adventure... Maybe comedy a little bit. I Definitely, mean, there's does... comedic aspects. A lot of it is about dealing with trauma, yeah. like uh, familial trauma specifically, and uh, like just, just yeah, like I. And I Get Up wasn't. I, even... I agree with you. I think people are just I'm like just unfairly yeah. judging. Have you ever watched this. Get Up? No, it's not really scary. It's just one of those like it's on puts you on the Man, edge I the whole time. Day. I don't need to see it. That's a good point. That's yeah. fair. That's yeah. a good point. <laughs> That's for y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's for you to get educated. Okay, so you think that was good? You'd watch it again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would watch it again. Okay. Um, and honestly, I can't say the same for uh, us. But uh, I like to nope, and I feel like people are being like really I don't unfair think you about speak it for us either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's that's like the big movie outside of like our what we are about to talk about okay. that I've seen. Yeah, um, yes. do you have anything to add? Anything? No, I haven't watched Nope yet. Harley um, Quinn's good. Harley New Quinn season's is good. Really funny. I don't know if I like it as good much as the other two, but they're all such like lightning in the bottle seasons that I don't think. Is it, it really uh, animated? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah, I know you're out, but like it genuinely is funny. It's some of the best like. Mocking while also celebrating DC, I've ever seen. I really, it's fan- am I think of, it's fantastic. I think I'm just out of DC because that's fine. The DC just keeps fucking with Ezra. Yeah. Yeah. Ezra. yeah, Ezra got arrested again. Oh, do we need to talk about that? Bit, or do we want to do that? Or do we want to do that after we talk about the movies? We can talk about it right now. Okay, the DC shit. Like they fucking cancel Batgirl, which was makes me wonder done. if it's going to be bad. I don't, I don't care. Was, I don't think it was going to be that Brendan bad. Fraser looks... I, I, I'm excited for anything I, with Brendan Fraser. Thing, so like, they, It was done. You can at least, Even if it's bad, you can recoup some money by releasing it. Just yeah. put it on you HBO don't have Max. to market it. No, I think, it actually, my theory is that it was actually okay. Yeah. Because they can say that it was good, and yeah. then they would have made a lot of money on it, and then they can claim a loss on it. Mm-hmm. If it was complete dog like shit. Like the producers? Yeah. yeah. If it yeah. was complete dog shit, they would not... So they, they're claiming it as a loss. So I think they actually, it was okay. But, but I think the sad part is, it's probably not going to get released. It should, but I don't think they can release it. But it's, um, a, a lot of people of... They can't profit on people it. People right of now. color, uh, LGBT representation in it, and that's the one that gets canned. Fuck but the, the one they guy. fucking okay. are going to put out... Yeah. Is the Flash movie, which, which is funny because apparently test audiences have really enjoyed it, like what they've seen so far. Really? So Flash? it's actually going to be a pretty good movie, apparently. Well, Wait, the Flash? Yeah. Uh, I doubt. Well, he, that's the, the thing word, is like that's the, the but the whole thing is like we need to protect the brand of HBO, and it's like Ezra Miller's protecting the brand. Yeah. Like well. apparently it came out today that they've been basically he's been doing reshoots with him, so that he's on the run from the law. Nobody can find him, and he's doing reshoots with HBO. I'm like, so you guys are just harboring, hiding Harboring, harboring <laughs> a criminal. Yeah. yeah, so, like, that's all fun. That's great. They literally chose the most garbage person to fucking put oh, all of I, their horses I, I behind. apologize. I do think I misgendered them. Yeah. A couple times. Ooh, Ezra? Yeah. yeah. He, they go by they, they them. They go by them. Oh, okay. I was like, wait. You're not talking about... Yeah. I want, my right. dream casting is Juno. <laughs> <laughs> like, is Elliot Page? Yeah. But Elliot was, Page would be fun as Barry. That's what that I'm saying. Be that would be great. If you want Ezra Miller... I love that. Way less problematic, you cast Elliot Page. And then you get fucking Michael Sarah's fucking reverse flash. What? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Michael Sarah. 
and Jesse Eisenberg. I am Aobard. Michael, sir, and Jesse Eisenberg. You have all of them. That's, yeah. Oh, God. Right, Aobard? I don't want that in there. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Aobard. And then Snart was Captain Cold. Good luck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. DC, man. So I am out on DC. I just don't. I just don't want to watch any more of it. I don't want. You still love your boy Superman, and you always will. But like DC as a but the thing is, DC's not even doing Superman justice anymore. Except for I think the new show is apparently good. It's all right, but um, I'm listening to a new podcast called Talk Bill. Yeah, and it's uh, oh yeah, it's the two guys from yeah Yeah. Lex Luthor and Superman. And that's really been fun because I really love that dude's fucking bitter. (laughs) Smallville is great, and like. It is, if you, you know, watch Arrow and you like all these CW shows, this is the OG CW show for DC stuff. And I think it's great. So if you like all that other stuff, if you like Riverdale, if you like all that, it's like that with Superman in it. Yeah. But it's 10 years. And it's 10 years of not getting him in. Uh, you don't, they said they'd never see him in the tights of the cape. Yeah, I remember so when I remember when that show ended and people were pissed at the yeah, uh, shirt the reveal. Yeah. And it's like it's in the style of the Superman Returns suit, right? Yeah, it's just it's just like ten years of edging if you're a Superman fan. Yeah. So, uh, but I loved it. I, you know. It was <laughs> you love the Adventures of Lois and Clark I too. I also love that. I started watching that on it was streaming on something. It's on it's, HBO Max right now. It's not great. Um, it's not. It's pretty bad. But Dean it does have, Kane. It does have Jonathan Frakes in it playing basically Xanatos from Gargoyles. Yeah. I do kind of agree with you that I'm out on DC because I see, like, the, the Black Adam trailer. Yeah. I love The Rock yeah. for the most part. I don't care. This... It just it doesn't look that exciting. No, it, it just doesn't. looks like... No. It, they've literally... It like everybody complains that Marvel, like the movie. MCU, everything yeah. looks the same. Yeah. They literally all look like the exact same movie when so, I watch the DC trailers. There was recently, and I, I don't remember who, it was some Asian dude who works for an FX house, was talking yeah. about the mistreatment from Disney, yeah. the mistreatment from FX Marvel, house, FX house yeah. yeah. and just in general, why everything looks like shit. Yeah. And it's pretty fascinating, and it's something we've been like talking about for you a while. You can, it's but there's it's a, getting worse. Yeah, Phase Four has looked bad. Yeah, and like we now know why is because Crunch has been unbelievable. Yeah. on these poor fucking effects. Well, because artists. they're putting way too much shit out all at, content out all at once. So yeah. I don't <laughs> like Damon Lindelof in general, right? Yeah. But he he did say something as like a fan of Marvel movies, yeah. which is like, uh, hey, do you think you guys could like dial it back a little bit so that the movies are better? <laughs> Like, maybe less, more quality, less quantity. Because it feels like it's been breakneck lately. I mean, we're just, yeah. like, Miss Marvel just ended. We've got something about every Thor, other month. Wakanda Forever is happening think, soon. She-Hulk is happening soon. Like, it's just, can we just take a breather? Do you think them shooting so much on the volume affects that, too? Like, yeah. Because it becomes so much effects Because they use the same in-house Because I know themes. the new Andor show that's coming out, they didn't use the volume at all. Right, which is so cool. we talked about that. Yeah. I don't think the volume is actually the problem that from that perspective because yeah. they don't need a lot of visual stuff done with the volume Fair enough. so they're probably saving money on that that way the problem with the volume is is that yeah. on some level you can only show so much scale it doesn't have a lot of scale no, correct so it's great if you want to have like Mando riding a fucking thing across the desert Yeah. if Obi-Wan and whatever want to fight in front of the green screen that's cool but when you actually like have to have sets and other people like it really falls apart when you have there needs to be more than the five people that are fighting on this whole entire planet. What the fuck's going on? Yeah. I, I, I feel like that, apart. yeah, the volume is definitely a COVID thing of just like, oh, yeah, you guys couldn't have more than eight people yeah. on set yeah. at this time. Right. So, so that's uh, why nobody's here. So, yeah, that's... This is the most populated city in the galaxy. Right. There's 12 people. Right. So yeah. I, think, like, <laughs> I think that will hopefully be rectified with whatever they do next. Yeah. Well, like they said, Andor is completely shot on location. Yep. Are we no excited for Andor? Like, I, I watched not. the most recent okay. trailer. Okay. okay, I'm into it. I'm <laughs> but I, I know you're not. <laughs> I, I, I'm super into it. I hope they do what like the first season of Mando did, which was get me excited for something away from the Skywalkers. Well, that's the which thing, then like season two of Mando immediately brought it back to the fucking Skywalker. Can we get away from this fucking family? Well, this is just so leading all the way up to Rogue One. I, yeah. Skywalker can't even I be involved. I swear to we're going to see Basil Oregano. Fucking yeah. Jimmy Schmitz is going to show up. I just know it. Isn't he already in? He'll, he's, he was in Jimmy Obi-Wan. Will yeah. more than, <laughs> Jimmy will Basil likely Oregano. show up because he's one of the guys who creates the... the I know, That's, but like, I just... So I, that makes sense. <laughs> you have... It's the same complaint I make every time we talk about Star Wars, which is you have this such vast... Like universe to play with, and they stick you know, to the same forty fucking here's, years. Here's the problem: people long ago 
thought that we shot light out of our eyes, and the world was dark except when we were looking at it, and the light from our eyes lit up whatever we were looking at. Like a toddler? And that's what Star Wars is. <laughs> <laughs> it's only, the only thing happening is what we're looking so at. So you're saying the problem with Star Wars is we have object permanence, yes. and like Did it doesn't... Just allegory of the cave Star that's Wars? Yes. perfect. Yeah. I love that. True, that is so good. Tell me another story of the shepherd, Grandpa. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. This is why I'm going to be a great uncle to your kid. <laughs> Like, that is the yeah, cave. You don't teach me shit, but Uncle Steve teaches me all kinds of shit about yeah. Star Wars and like why uh, it sucks donkey balls and what donkey balls are and yeah. what it tastes like. Why is this shit? Well, I mean, Star Trek has to suck donkey film. balls. Your your Patreon, your patron of that is donkey balls. It hates it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I just fuck it. That was perfect, Steve. So, I just like yeah, yeah. This this show should be called And Horse, okay? And it should be <laughs> it should be the Star Wars porn. You should have Mon Mothma <clears throat> show up, and then she just, it's like Mon Mothma doing glory holes. Yeah. She is just, in it. <laughs> I just don't want to see this shit. I don't give a fuck. I don't it's care. the least really. interesting character in that movie that I don't care about. I but, love that movie. That's one of my favorite movies. I like Felicity Jones. I, I don't give a fuck about that. I like her and her weird teeth. I just didn't want to see another movie where, oh my god, is it another orphan drinking blue milk? On the desert planet? Yeah, but he has a Spanish before? accent. Where did I see this before? Oh, is this last year? He's got a Latinx it's accent, great. Steve. Yeah. There's no desert planet. Really? <laughs> Not in uh, Rogue One. Rogue One. Really? No, there was a planes planet, but it wasn't I'm desert. pretty sure there was a lot of sand. What about the planet where uh, Saw Gerrera dies? Yeah. That's like a mesa uh, in the High Plains Desert. And aren't they drinking That's a blue different... milk or something in the beginning when she has to go run? Well, you got to have the blue milk for your milk. Star Wars brand of Dunkaroos. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's like, dude, do we need another orphan girl? Like, it needs to be said. Like, you know, you can say the same thing about Trek, right? No. We don't need another hollow deck. We don't need we another... <laughs> We had a hollow deck episode without no, the hollow deck. No, then it's not a hollow deck episode. <laughs> it's a hollow deck styled episode. No, it's not. The, There's no hollow deck. Them doing the period piece story was 100% not a callback a to a hollow deck. It was it's because they don't have one yet, but exactly. it was basically a hollow deck. We're not a Somebody's Christian. going to use no. this to be like, oh, you know what? We should create no. a hollow We're not a Christian no. band. We're a band that happens to be Christian. <laughs> it's not a hollow deck episode because there's no holiday. <laughs> Also, that show is great. Chad, you finally watched. Yeah, it's yeah. great. It's fantastic. I, yeah, that, no, that was actually it's exactly, incredible. It's it's exactly except, what I was complaining about when I was bitching sucks. about Picard. It's this is exactly what I want. Yeah, and it seems like Paramount. Uh, it, they just released the numbers. It's the highest rated like uh, show yeah. for Paramount Plus. Biggest that's, viewership. Biggest uh, out of everything. To be fair, that's not that great. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's pretty low. Really? It's like because Halo wasn't even, didn't end very good at all. Yeah. <laughs> what else did we watch? There was something else on Paramount Plus I watched. Uh, oh, well, there's Yellowstone and shit. But have you guys seen the uh, the offer yet? Oh, about I've... the making of the Godfather. No. It's really fucking good. I don't care about that. Okay, either. great. <laughs> I like the, the only making thing I of like movies. About it is that the next movie that Mario Puzo wrote was Superman? Did he write Superman? Yeah, the screenplay? The screenplay. And no shit. No wonder it's so solid. Yeah, they used this like idea. Over. No wonder it's solid. Yeah. All right, man. He took a pass at it. You know what? I, you know what I did see, actually, that? that I kind of wanted to talk to you about yeah. alone, but we'll, we can talk about it here. Oh, okay. Superman 3. The quest for, or no. Uh, the 4 is the quest for peace. Uh, Superman 3 is uh, the one with uh, Richard Pryor. Oh, yeah. The uh, Metropolis homage. Yeah. The end of it. I hate that movie. Because it scared the shit out of me. It's oh, fair. Yeah, uh, it scared me, but I like that movie. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I always like. I always said I for some reason had always conflated the robot lady yeah. was in like the first or second one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like and no, it's just the best part of the third movie. Yeah. No, and I gotta tell you, man, like it's like it doesn't deserve the hate that it it's gets. It's a Richard Pryor comedy. Totally. Superman with su that su happens to have yeah. Superman in the background. Yeah. And I think that's why people don't have like it. Have you seen the Richard Donner cut? No. Because I have it. It's fantastic. I might have to watch it's it. It's pretty good. Because, like, they shot so one and two together. But I totally under... Oh, really? They shot one and two together. I didn't know that. And then, so Dick Donner... Oh, is that why they look so similar? Yeah, Dick Donner shot, like, 75% of two. Mm -hmm. And then, of one and two, together. Yeah. And then, um... They fired him. The Broccoli's fired him. Cool. Or, no, the De, De Laurentiis... can't remember which one. The Broccoli's yeah. are the Bond people. Uh, De Laurentiis fires him, 
and then they bring in Dick Lester. So Dick Lester finishes it. And a lot of the shit we don't like. These are the most 70s ass yeah. fucking Hollywood names. Well, Dick Lester! Sulfate! So, <laughs> and Dicky, Tricky Dicky Lester, uh, Dicky Lester the child molester. Um, he, Dan, hold her tighter, she's a fighter schneider. Yep, yeah, he comes in and like puts a lot of the campy shit that we don't like in there. So the cellophane thing was him. Mm-hmm. Um, so the Donner Cut does unfortunately have to use some of the lesser stuff, but the movie is very different. Okay. The Donner Cut. Okay. It feels like it's a little. It seems like it wanted to be a darker movie than it was. Um, Super- I don't think Superman it Two wanted to be Spider Man. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think I don't know if it was darker. It's just like just treated just a different tone. It treated um, Superman differently. But okay. yeah, more serious. I mean, if that movie is like incredibly mm-hmm. earnest, but also incredibly like. So there's a lot of like really dark shit happening in that movie uh-huh. from Donner. Like the little girl in the first one, the little girl like Superman comes down and gives her a cat, and she goes inside. And her mom calls her a liar and beats her. And like, Jesus! Like, yeah. so there's a lot oh my of, god! Yeah, there's a lot of like dark shit happening. I've seen that. Yeah, yeah I thought that was so, an edit. No, it's supposed to be like funny, but like That's it's not... also kind of dark. Liar! Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. oh my god! So there's a lot of like, like it's funny in that time period, I've and now it's dark scene. in this time yeah, period. Dude, yeah. so, there's like you can definitely see like <laughs> dumb little bitch and him, play, him like playing uh, deer because it really you know it's like Norman Rockwell the the first one and yeah. all the stuff that happened the first forty minutes. It's Americana. Yeah. It's I point very, to that movie as a, do you want to feel good about America? Watch right. the first Superman. Right. Like, So it's, I love that movie. Anyway, so you watch Superman 3? Yeah, I just don't think that it get, it deserves the hate. I think it it's on, a, it must be on HBO. It's on HBO. Which is going away. Yeah. I yeah. can't remember if it, HBO, uh, HBO, if Superman 3 or Superman 4 is the one that feels like a fever dream. I feel like 4. Yeah. 4 yeah, is. Maybe. But it's, that has, I uh, haven't watched either of them in a while. But it has John Cryer time. in it. It does have John Cryer in it. That's pretty good. Uh, radiate radioactive man, radi- radioactive man from the Simpsons. Um, um, I think it's Radiation Man, or something is his name. They choose a villain that it doesn't exist, which is just yeah. like, yeah, that's good. A, a superhero that has established villains. Let's make something new. It's Adolf Hitler. Yeah. Um. Like you know. Like yeah. Yeah. I. I just. I know you love those movies, so I it's just like I. You know what? I get it. They're fun. You should just... watch somewhere in time. If you watch it, you're gonna love it. Okay. Another one on my list. That's you. the one where. Uh, uh... Time travel. Yes. James yeah. Seymour. Yeah, yeah. She's fresh off of a James Bond movie. He's fresh off Superman. Mm-hmm. First movie they both make afterwards. I just like. I feel like you're from a different era. I know you are. You're eight years older than me. But the amount. The of animation ma- he likes is from the fucking twenties. The so... made for TV <laughs> movie. Yeah, the made for my TV movie. My parents mo- are eighty. So. <laughs> oh, that's fair. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. My first I was gonna... CD was Simon Garfunkel. You know. I mean? Fair. Like, <laughs> I just like the amount of like made for TV movies that you've seen oh, yeah, is them. just wild yeah, to me. Of just like, oh, this was a Hallmark Channel original. It's yeah. just like, how the fuck have you ever seen the, I should make the you watch, boy in the plastic bubble? I should make you watch The Love Letter. That's another one that's on that's on uh, YouTube for free. I'll find it. In okay. It's another time travel love movie. <laughs> okay. Starring Campbell Scott. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I have Why another... don't you watch Doctor Who? Most of it is time travel love. I, I, it's because it sucks scary. eventually. <laughs> it's, um, it's, it sucks did eventually. Did you watch Taguchi? You didn't watch that yet. No, no, no. no. It's, it's three hours long. I'm just trying to find the right time to watch okay. it. Okay. All right. Let's get to what we were supposed Actually, to be talking so about. So, yeah. Um, an hour and a half into this. Lightyear. Mm. We start with you that. I couldn't. I was gonna ask you. What I have more to say about like? Prey than I do Lightyear. So, yeah. like, yeah. Lightyear first. Lightyear. Uh, I liked it. It's it, fine. It was fine. That's it. it. Was, that was it's, it. I, I all I gotta say is if they, this is the movie that Andy saw that made him obsessed with Buzz Lightyear. He's stupid. Andy has. I mean, he was a child, like, I guess. Andy likes a boring Pixar? fucking was movie. It was Pixar. Yeah. Was Pixar yeah. made that? It was Pixar. Yeah. This is the free guy of Pixar movies. This is a bad Pixar movie for Pixar. In this terms is, of Pixar, it's a bad Pixar movie. Cars. It's two is still the though, worst. The cat. The cat was dude. Hilarious. Socks is great. Who was the so, voice? Um, the fuck, dude from the mini project, night. right? Yeah, oh, I don't know. I looked was. him up last night, but I forgot. You quoted me something using something else I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh God, what's Ike Barinholtz? Is that who's play Socks? No, I had it last night. Speaking of Kiki Palmer, Johnny. oh, Peter Sohn is uh, Socks. Yeah. Who? Uh, he's a, he's, he was a meal in Ratatouille. He was a fat rat. Oh, okay, okay. Um, he's, he's, he's a Pixar, like, you know, wunderkind. He's in every single Pixar movie. I don't oh, know. is he Asian? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. 
I guess. Huh. Yeah, he's he's always done effects for Pixar, and like they just brought him in for voices, voices every once okay, in a while. Okay. But yeah, he was the big fat he's rat that was just like, that. "What are you eating?" Yeah. I don't even know. Yeah. Same. They guy. tried to do the up thing by in the beginning, making us have this emotional moment with uh, Hawthorne dying. It doesn't work. I for didn't me. feel no. any emotion to that. What did, I think that's because they did the fucking. So, what movie did we? I actually watch? think that was a creative oh, oh. choice. No, no, Thor ruined it because Thor did the better montage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. montage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think I think that part of it is a creative choice because it is supposed to be like brick wall of just like, oh yeah, you spent no time with this and now it's gone. Like it's just, yeah. but I feel like it just wasn't executed. Well, and that was the properly the, the main problem with it, and it, I noticed it when that happened. I'm like, it was kind of just what, a meme. Well, movie. I was just like, what the fuck is happening? I'm like, this is going breakneck speed in terms of plot. I, and I get that's part of the in the plot written into the plot yes, to do that. I like but at that. At the same light- time, I'm just like, Jesus, you're trying to interstellar this. Yeah. That's in true. five minutes. And Interstellar was three hours, <laughs> though. True. So, like, it's Interstellar for your kids. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Kidder Stellar. Yeah. Kidder Stellar. Kidder. Um, Peter Sellers. <laughs> But Marvel I mean, I, I enjoy Ika's character. All of his characters have become the same character now. Kid Rock. <laughs> so I just I I like how they made Buzz kind of an arrogant douche. Yeah, I do enjoy that. I he like has that. hair. It, his name is Buzz. Yeah, I like <laughs> Buzz. Okay. Uh, I like that. Like uh, I was very surprised. I thought that whole using Chris Evans was just okay. Yeah, celebrity name. His voice like sounds like a young yeah. Tim Allen kind of. Good, not yeah. Actually, like I was like Which actually like it? fuck. Like so I was thinking like why didn't they just get Tim Allen? And it was just like he sounds too old it and did, like it did Trumpy. It in a way <laughs> that I thought. It, like I thought what was going to happen is that the bugs were going to turn out to be the allies against Zerg, and they were he was going to be misunderstood that these bugs... The plants, the vine the thing. Sorry, sorry, the, yeah, the, the bugs and the plants. They played it up like that's what it was going to be. It, was like so it huge... turns out that they were trying to help them the entire yeah, time. Yeah, that's what I wanted. And, like, we're protecting you. Yeah. No, and it nothing ever happened. Yeah. And it I was just really, there for laughs. I don't really understand what Old yeah. Buzz's problem was, and I thought that should have been Tim Allen. Okay, also, that yeah, that's what been, I thought. I looked it up. Tim Allen. I'm like, are they going to do Tim Allen with the Old Buzz? Yeah. Like, oh, no. That, that would have yeah. made sense. And I didn't think that everyone was gay enough. It's so, oh, okay. by the way. Can I tell you about that? Yeah. Is that I had the thought of, so as like a queer kid, like mm-hmm. you, you gravitate towards anything with queer people in yeah. it, right? Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, yeah. Two yeah. Wong Fu, Thanks for Everything, Julie Newmar. Yeah. Like, you find these things that are in the queer section of, yeah. like, Blockbuster, right? Which was incredibly small. Oh, and there were, like, wrestling. four... Yeah. There were four movies, effectively, right? There's Especially for a small town like Bozeman. Right. Hastings had a queer section. Uh, L- like, it wasn't called the LGBT section. The Rainbow it, it was, Patrol. Yeah, the, yeah. the gay section or the whatever. Carriers. And, like, it was pink, which was also fucking hilarious. Yeah. And, like, you had to go through beats. It was next to the porn. We're all pink but, inside, Chad. Yeah. Um, if I was a kid, and it was just like, you know, there's gay people in this movie, I would have gone out, tried to find this movie, rent it, watch it, and I would have been so fucking disappointed. Yeah, they don't even talk. No! <laughs> it's such a... Not you need both of them to talk. Was like no. the Weird, it's like almost like it was made so door. that you could cut it out yeah. for international audience. Well, it's like, I, I remember watching that scene, and, like, the con- I'm, I immediately was like, the conservatives freaked out about this one? Really? They freaked out. I, I mean, was once that the Hawthorne looked like Worf when she was old. <laughs> 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 what the fuck are we doing here? Michael Dorn starts yes. voicing her at the end. This is where the came from. Speaking of Michael Dorn, I think he should have been the guy who replaced her. Oh, that would be pretty Yeah, the new captain or whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Who um, was the voice of the new captain? Who ended up not being anything. Like, nope. he had no purpose into it. They introduced him, made it seem like... Why oh, did they make it such of... a big deal that Buzz stole a ship? Like, it's just like, well, you guys were going to sh- shut down everything anyways. Who gives a shit? Well, yeah, they're like, a lot, let this very, loose end go. Like, and plot. also, like, we're shutting like down the project. I get it, Why? it's a kid's movie, I but, like... I, I feel like using the... A lot of people have been using the excuse of, well, it's a kid's movie. That's unfair. Do you think it think about kid's movie. Think about Flight of the Navigator. That movie doesn't like let up on like high like not highbrow but like on concepts that are just like kind of hard time dilation that movie's and, like, only good because it's awesome and because <laughs> Sarah Jessica Parker's in it and because the fucking soundtrack is lit the soundtrack is lit Pee so Wee Herman is the fucking robot compliance ah! <laughs> Have you seen that movie? Uh, yeah. Flight of the Navigator is fucking a great. Classic. Think Seven, about, seven, think seven, about seven, children's movies. Think Pee-wee about Pee Wee Herman. Uh, yes. Paul Rubens. Yeah, 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 Paul Rubens. Uh, think about Toy Story. Yeah. Think about movies when we were kids. Yeah. Like, Better. kids are smarter than you 
then yeah, people this, give them credit felt for. Like a dumb movie for kids. Yeah, yeah. It, it no, it's a dumb movie for dumb kids. Is what this movie Which is. Which is kids. It, it, it felt like kids. Pixar one ran out of ideas and didn't know what movie they wanted to make, and so they're like, hey, let's make the movie about Buzz Lightyear. I will Buzz say Lightyear. that the entire time I was trying to find, I did like how. I, I thought I was going to hate it, I, the, like, hearing Buzz say, like, quotes from Toy Story. I actually enjoyed it. I think they used them pretty organically. Like, it's a dangerous mission in uncharted space. It's just like, ah, he says that in the movie. Well, it makes like, sense that I he's like kind of an shit. arrogant asshole because the toy is was an arrogant, an arrogant asshole. asshole when it first uh, comes out. Yeah, the narrating thing that's really funny that that translates over. There are... This thing has bones, but no meat. The Does bro- that make sense? Mm, it has Buzz. But no Woody. muzz. Um, <laughs> I think that the mistake is is the little line of this is the movie that Andy saw. Yeah. I think if you wouldn't have said that, it would have fixed everything. Because yeah. it definitely you're thinking about like, is this Star Wars? No. It's it's like when a movie is, is constantly this... referencing other things. Yeah. To which it's just like you're just reminding me of a better movie. But like, I, I just don't think that this. I was also waiting Andy for any like liked. modern references that I could just poke holes in of just yeah. like so. Andy saw this in 1995. He just whipped a nay nade. Here's the like, thing: it's no, it's no last Starfighter. No, right? No <sighs> fucking movie. Yeah, I have that movie. Do you guys like Enemy Mine? I don't know what that is. With uh, ja- uh, um, I saw it behind enemy lines. Dennis Quaid. And uh, I have no idea what I saw. Private Eyes. So it's about it's uh, the next generation did an episode that's basically just enemy mind, where a human and an alien on like different sides of a war, right, crash land on this planet, and they have to work together to survive. It's a very famous um, uh, Geordie episode. Oh wait, I'm like, with a Romulan fake episode where that's fake. Like so, so there's episode where that's fake and they, just, they do so there is the um, Darmok mm-hmm. at Jalad. Yeah. There's that episode, yeah. right? You know, Tanagra actually, when the walls fell. I actually went on a date with a girl because I, re- I just responded to every one of her posts like that. <laughs> His eyes open. Yep. <laughs> I just responded in parables or whatever to her. That's awesome. That's but uh, I just, I don't know, man. Like, it, I thought it was fine. I can definitely see a little kid just fucking zoning out and watching it. And you know but what? That's unfortunate because, like, there are so many better movies. And you know what? You yes. can't even use the stupid excuse of, oh, well, there's a reason they released it to just streaming. They didn't. Because, for, A, they didn't. But also... We've seen some great streaming movies come out. Yeah. Like, yeah. Rescue Rangers was fantastic. Yeah. Luca. Um, they Luca really, was uh, great. Um, Turning Red was pretty good. I haven't Luca? watched it. All the, right. I, I liked Turning Red. Did you see Turning Red? No. 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 Did you see Turning Red? I have not seen it. I really liked it. Yes. I really like liked it. Women's stories or mm-hmm. Asian stories? Uh, speaking of women's stories. Yeah, you have a good one? Pray. Oh, God. I did, I did not understand. I didn't see Julia Roberts in this. So, I, I gotta ask, how long have you been sitting on that? I've been waiting. Okay. <laughs> I was watching it and, like, like eat, pray, love. <laughs> um, I really, like, uh, what's her name? Debbie Midthunder? I need to preference all this by saying, I had no, no knowledge of this movie other than the one trailer I've seen of it, and it was a glimpse. I didn't even know this was a Predator movie. Really? When I so went that must have been fun. Watching. I had so no I, idea. So me saying we should watch Prey, you were just like, okay, I don't know what this yeah, shit well, is. Well, I saw one trailer and was just her like setting up traps and stuff. And we're like, oh, it's a survivor movie against yeah. an alien or a monster. I'm like, that's cool. Yeah. And then watching and then seeing the, the, the visual of him, t- I'm like... Wait, what? You <laughs> <laughs> like, no. I had no you're idea. Like, what the fuck is there a spaceship in this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You think it was a Transformer movie? I, yeah, well, it was like, wait, something. It was like some yeah. backdoor, backdoor prequel. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. So. I tricked you into watching <laughs> more Transformers. I, I would have killed you. <laughs> I don't know that I liked it. Okay, I would like to hear your reasons. Honestly, yeah. I did not think you would. Yeah, I do. Because it's a no, it's, well, sure, so, but also it's action. First of all, I don't want to be like, this isn't what native people look like to me, but she, there are a lot of other actresses I feel like look more native than she does. I don't want to be a dick about that. But She's just native. She is native. <laughs> well, I know, but like, just how Henry Golding was cast yeah. in Crazy Rich Asians and he's half white. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's like very clear. Oh, yeah, I made Allie watch that for the first time. She we, loved it. Yeah, she loved it. Yeah, it's a great movie. We should talk about that. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about that later. Anyway, but, so it's not, it's not 
I know that sounds like a dickish thing, mm -hmm. but I always wonder, like, did you cast the best native actress you could find? Or the prettiest. Or the most white passing native girl that you could find? I honestly think that, like, she, like... I did. No, I, I I'm not lie. even gonna touch. I won't I don't, lie. I did have to look her up. I'm like, is this a white girl? Is this she? So is she, she has Norwegian descent, but also uh, she is Comanche, Sue. right? No, no, uh, she's Sue. Okay, specifically, so, so an article I read had said that a lot of the native speaks Americans Comanche. were Comanche. Yeah, this is the first. Yeah, like so they were originally shooting this all in Comanche. Yeah, there is a dub of Comanche. Yeah, she mm -hmm. watched the whole thing. Dude, okay, so that I is like... actually a problem I have. Oh really? Yes. What? That it's dubbed? Because they half-assed fucking the Comanche. Oh yeah. Because like. Because you have it sometimes. Well, like all the articles were just like how progressive of a yeah. movie you have yeah. a, a mostly indigenous cast, yeah. right? And it's just like yeah, that's really cool. Uh, and then it's just like, and there's a Comanche cut, and it's just like that's the one I want to yeah. watch with subtitles. Everybody's saying Comanche, and but no, you know it's a fucking dub, you know which is so half-assed. You, know you know they put it in because they knew that people would be pissed that there wasn't well, a that's Comanche true. cut. Yeah, I don't no. think so. But there are no subtitles on the Frenchman. They are literally speaking a yeah. foreign language. That was, yeah. You never see that. Yeah, that, I, I thought that. that was pretty cool. So it's like they're like the corners. So I like that. So, look, a lot, there are a lot of things to love in it. I think Even the great. subtitles just spell it out in yeah. French. It's fine. I fun. think it's great yeah. that it's a, uh, a female-led thing. Yeah. I think it's great that it's a native cast. Yeah. Have you read any I of the one-star like, reviews? No, They're hilarious. But I just feel like if you like Echo, the actress they used for Echo, yeah. they found, like... She would have been great. Is she indigenous? girl. Who's, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's indigenous, and she's disabled. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, that's fucking perfect. Very good. Like, I'm not saying that there are. I yeah. just feel like there are more of them. And like you know, I watch Yellowstone. I watch 1883. Yeah. They, they use some of the same people that were in like that. They were yeah. also in HP or in the. I really like the world. brother. Yeah, the brother was great. I'm not it's his first fucking movie. I know movie. it sounds like a dick, but every time I saw her, I didn't feel like I was looking at a native face. Have you guys seen Reservoir? I Native American Opry Plaza. Yeah. Which is funny because exactly. she she was in a show with okay. Aubrey Plaza. I'm not gonna lie. When I saw her, I'm like, is she related to Christina Ricci? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I think she did a great job. Yeah, no, she did. Uh, the dog out acted her. <laughs> okay, first of all, that movie started. The first thing I said, if that dog fucking dies, doesn't die, I'm it done. gets hurt. Doesn't die. <laughs> Pretty good. Die. You know? <laughs> no, 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 no. The people get fucked up way worse. I guess than that dog though was like a terrible dog. Like, just, yeah, it's a res dog. It's not an, not an actor. No. Oh, they, they got they said, a res dog because they, they wanted to be yeah. every piece of film that they could like everything that was usable is yeah. in the movie yeah because yeah. people are like I want to see the dog cut I'm like no bro it's all there like every piece <laughs> that's it that wasn't, that's all yeah, we could do the dog would just like start scratching itself or take a shit in the middle of a cake and, <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah I mean, that's a fucking dog though so why is that a problem <laughs> because like trained dogs are actually yeah. something yeah. and then like but like no they were just like no we want a res dog we want a dog that actual yeah. like Comanches would be yeah. using like high plains Indian like natives well, no, would be using Carolina dog, so those are like yeah. they're like a native dog still. Yeah, um, and, but they're fucking awful because they're basically feral. Yeah. It's like you know those half wolf dogs. Mm -hmm. It's like that. It's okay. just like they're I so unpredictable. It. I did want to adopt. Not that the, the dog was adorable. Dog. Yeah. He was cute. So yeah. I like. And he I think rhinos are acted cute. well. Wow. I thought that was great. I mean, I think the plot was fine. Yeah, um, I mean, it was such a bare bones action. I thing. think that's what lend that that helped it. Yeah. I think is because yeah. there was no side plot. It's a it, shame. it was just straight up. I want to prove myself. Yep. She proved herself. Great. It's a, that's it's it. A shame because I really did think it needed to be seen on a big screen. I think it would have been really. It good. was beautiful. Yeah. yeah. But so I, I mean, lots of. Uh, if there were any issues I had specifically, it was, and they had to do it. I, people who say. They, the CGI animals were not, oh, were not very good. God, the bear. People are like, they should just use reason. I'm like, they're not gonna see. Tell me how you're gonna get a trained bear to just take a punch. No, Leo and a bear would have been better. <laughs> <laughs> they got the revenant. Yeah, we yeah. Cut in the revenant yeah. footage. Well, like even then, like the revenant bear looks good. So yeah. like, and that's all CGI. So like, I just yeah. But to also give them credit, they didn't hide from it. They did that in the daylight. Yeah. They didn't put it in That's the dark true. to hide it. That's a good point. They're like, fuck it, we're going to do it. I don't know Better than fucking Doctor Strange. To know, like, it go, just land on a planet to challenge the biggest... No, under, from what I gathered is, is it so was weird. stuck. The because Predator. The, the ship crashed. Yeah, oh. it was stuck. So I, why was okay, it so on the Alpha? I don't understand. And why, I thought they were because, like, like, why was it crash landing there? Because, okay. Were aliens? No, so the Yon T, no, Yon T's are D&D. &D. Yeah. Um, what, uh, Yag, Yang Chi or Predators. Predators. 
Okay. Predators. So, like, okay. All right. All right. Fair. 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 All right. Predators, you stupid fuck. <laughs> the Predator aliens. Metroid's the girl, Listen, if right? you want to get into the lore of the yeah. Predators... Boy, I love that green fairy yeah. boy Zelda. Uh, if you want to get into the lore of the Predators, there's, there's some lot. shitty movies so, you can watch. Uh, I watched a few of them. So, I'm scary. sure... So, like, the fact that the Predator was in the area to begin with is that... Oh, it was probably hunting... But yeah, it crashed. They there was lightning and it crashed. So the thing is, they're supposed to send them as to a these proving ground. To, as a proving ground to all these different planets. They go all over the galaxy, although they seem to come to Earth quite a bit. Because um, we keep killing them. Well, no. <laughs> because they have their aliens there that they're raising now. That's not canon. <laughs> as, if any, as if anything in is America? canon. I saw in, that one. <laughs> in, this movie, in this movie series, where the last movie, directed by Shane Black, <laughs> autism was a superpower. You remember that? The Predators I, that, came I to Earth that, that time one. to kidnap an autistic child because that's like the next step in evolution, which is the most insensitive, insulting thing I've ever heard. Anyway, anyway it's so ridiculous. Anyway, I, I like never it. watched that one. Dude, was it at Christmas? I got it. Yes. It's Shane Black. Actually, it what? No, it was around Halloween oh. because the autistic kid steals a helmet from one of the Predators and wears it on Halloween. Dude, this movie's awful. I and like, see it. It's Thomas Jane good. couldn't save it, and I well, hoped he could. Thomas Jane has never been in a good movie. That's he's, not true. Pre- which one? The first Punisher. The one where he's in South Africa? No. No, the one where he's fighting John Travolta. Scott Pilgrim? No. Okay. He's in Scott Pilgrim. He's the South- vegan police. He's you know what's South funny? African he's one of the vegan movies. cops. Scott Pilgrim I loved. I've only seen it once. I've never seen it I don't seen think it again. It's, you need to revisit it, honestly. <laughs> it's a good... Garbage. I don't remember. It's all right. Him. It's okay. Just, you know what's weird? It is. It has gotten better with age. Sure. I also watched well, uh, The World's it End, and that now. also got better with age. Did it? Yeah, because I didn't like least, it. When it was it, my least favorite. Yeah, mine of too. All of and like rewatching it, it actually has some pretty good. Like it's actually really well written and choreographed. I I didn't appreciate it when I first saw it because Hot Fuzz was so good. So anyway, to answer your question, right. predators are technically sent to go hunt. Although this seems like they a hunt older predator. Feral. This one. Just, well, because oh, he, he doesn't have. He has. Blades, not laser. Think about it, though. It's no, no. three hundred years in the past. Yeah. So, yeah. so that's what I'm saying. It's like it seems like they even were the mask. The, the mask was made of bone, not metal. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. it's just like it's just Red older. Prime. And like I, a lot of people are complaining about the the predator wasn't high tech. This is three hundred years ago. You dipshits. Of You're course, still pretty high tech. It's still pretty high tech. <laughs> what is three hundred years to these predators? It's still time, you know what I mean. But it might not be as much. So, like, okay, so okay, part of the part of the lore, uh, yeah. whatever, as fucking awful as and non thought out as it is, is that every time a predator like hunts, right, and like comes to our planet, an angel it, gets its wings. Yes, yes. Yeah. it figures out new technology and uh-huh. new ways of hunting, right? Okay. So every time there's a successful hunt, they bring back new information of okay, so like. The, this warfaring like culture does this, this, so and kill this. Kill all the females, and then you won't have to get murked yeah. by. Honestly, like the one thing, mm-hmm. like because of its ties to the other, like the first Predator and even Predator Two, uh, they never learn that. Like, oh, we're really vulnerable for at a distance. Well, like we're really susceptible to traps. Because yeah. the first Predator was not taken out by punches; he was taken out by traps. Well, also, how would they learn that? All of them are dead and don't go back. That's a good... Oh, uh, okay. No, uh, <laughs> hey, fair. They lose. Point, counterpoint. But, but good. He, he, well, the, the point I raised... That's a good point, a, Matt. I'm on, sorry. On a, on a That's Facebook. really stupid of me. <laughs> well, on a, fa- on a Facebook post, I put was something that just popped in my head because they were just asking a question. I'm like, how do they decide when the hunt is done? Because he's on the planet. He's hunted quite a few things. Yeah. Killed a bunch of them. Snake was so and stupid. he's like, no, I have to beat this one girl, or was that was he going to just continue on if he killed her? I think he was Does continuing he until like because what, his the family predator, came back. He the, could phone home. The predator I don't know. that kill that Arnie kills. Yeah, he was there to sh- prove hunt. himself and yeah. hunt. What was he hunting? Just that group? Was he going to hunt every human? Like I think the when idea, do they decide the hunt so is I over? I think it's a naked and afraid situation of just like we're dropping you here. We'll be back in three weeks. Okay. If you survive with trophies, then cool, you proved yourself. Stupid. But that doesn't work for predators. Yeah, two. it's an awful sci-fi idea. That doesn't work for predators. Predator two. So okay, speaking of predator they, two, they're just 
there. Speaking of Predator 2, how about that connection at the end oh. with the gun? I actually didn't like it because no. that suggests that a Predator came back, killed them all, and took the gun back. Yeah, I'm like, well, that gun's that's what that back suggests. at some point. I'm like, how are they so, doing that? So, Steve, so well, they have you seen Predator 2? And credits to so. this movie. So, Predator 2 stars Dan- uh, old as fuck Danny Glover. Uh, I know. He's getting too old for this shit. Yes. I'm too old. Post-lethal weapon Danny Glover. Okay. And, uh, actually, I think I just sold the movie to myself. Uh, anyway, so, like, the Predator ends up, like, like, Danny Glover ends up earning the respect of the Predator, gets onto the ship, and the Predator hands him, like, an old flintlock pistol. It's the flintlock pistol from the end of this movie. So that's cool. Which, it's cool, but it suggests that Predators came back and stole the gun back. No, they do. There's the, did you watch the Oh, credits? yeah, with the ship. The ships are all, like, appearing. I'm not going to lie. I didn't like that. Well, me neither. Because I, I don't to, want there to be a sequel. Well, and also, I, was, I watched that. I'm like, why are they invading us? Are they pissed that he lost? Maybe. Because they don't usually get pissed. They usually like, oh, you hey, lost? Guys, Fuck you. Jerry didn't come back. What do you mean? He's not here. And it's like, well. He didn't come back. It's like, well, yeah, we sent him onto a fucking planet to hunt. And if he loses, he dies. Yeah, but. But he uh, didn't... But I want that pistol. Yeah. For uh, some fucking reason. So it turns <laughs> out there are these things called people. Here's my thing with uh, Predators. <laughs> this is my thing with the Predator movies. They don't all need to connect. No. At all. That's the thing I hate the most. And that's why I've hated every... This is the best Predator movie since Predators. I liked Predators, and I wanted to talk about that. See if I think you would like Predators. I want to know... It's when, directed by Robert Rodriguez. When Chris Harrison gets involved. Chris Hansen. Chris Hansen. <laughs> Chris Hansen. Take a Steve. seat, Mr. Predator. Yeah, yeah. I think Robot Chicken did that joke. Yeah, probably. Family Guy did, probably. Yeah, that's what Guaranteed. I want to see. Um, I, all in all, I really liked it. I think it's it definitely There's a not effort. a lot to talk about with it. It's Which just, is, again, Because I think it just starts and it goes and it ends. There is a, <laughs> there is a singular plot and it's just... I'm a, I need. I want to prove myself. Okay, you prove yourself. Also, there's an alien. <laughs> like it's just. It's. I. I kind of like it that it's bare bones. Uh huh. I really do. I thought it was a good movie. I think that um, Dan Trachtenberg should make a movie that's not a sequel. <sighs> um, Thank you. And I think like I. I thought it was aggressively. Remind fun. me again what he's made. Um, I always forget. The, and then somebody reminds me. Oh, it's yeah. kind of a horror, borderline horror movie. Uh, here. I always, I always look it up. I'm like, oh fuck yeah! And then I always Ten forget. Cloverfield Lane. Yeah, that's yeah. The one. awesome. Uh, Which is a better version than the Cloverfield. Ah, he's been <laughs> producing like every episode of The Boys. Uh, mm-hmm. and directed an episode. Um, oh weird. That's kind of it. That's right. Yeah, that's kind of it. No, the Ten Cloverfield really Lane. Which is actually Ten Cloverfield I keep Lane, to watch Black and I keep Mirror, not. The Boys. <laughs> Ten Cloverfield Lane is one of those movies where I'm like, God, I really want to watch it. I love jo- John Goldman. And then I never watch it. It's good. It's mm-hmm. very unsettling. It's very... No, I've heard it's fantastic. Yeah. I heard somebody said, like, they just pl- slapped the name Cloverfield Lane on it to give it a sequel name. Yeah, that's but it. But it has nothing really to do with Genuinely Cloverfield Genuinely, it does not. They're like, there might be... I think they, somebody said there's something at the end that might suggest a connection. Which was a last-minute addition. Just to add that. Yes. That's an Abrams thing, I yes. guess. Yeah, well, yeah, it is. <laughs> because, so, of course, it is. <laughs> um, fucking hack. But you know, ultimately, yeah, I liked it. I don't want there to be a sequel. I don't mm-hmm. even want there to be another Predator movie in a different time period. I just I it's, it, we don't need to make sequels. No, Not I kind of want that now. I want Predator Assassin's Creed where we just keep going to different yeah, time periods right. and they have to kill the Predator Egypt. in a different way. Oh, predator or prey? <laughs> I mean, I did love that they called this one prey, and I'm like, oh, Predator love prey, that. love. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah, 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 that was a fun. A lot of things really worked with this movie. Yeah. Um, Okay, so I, I said, like, I asked, like, have you guys looked up the one-star reviews yet? No. Because they're ex- exactly as bad as you would expect them to be. All of them are talking about woke culture mm-hmm. and, like, yeah, fucking yeah. girl power. Like, that's the main thing every, like, every douchebag keeps saying is, too much girl power. No, and it's sorry, just like, a- sorry, Adrian Brody. She's a Mary Sue. Like this. To which she is absolutely not a Mary Sue. She gets the shit kicked out of her so goddamn hard, well, and she fails, practicing. and she fails, yeah. and like, so the movie like really does a good job of setting up how observant she is, and that's the only reason why she succeeds. Well, she better be those giant fucking eyes. <laughs> 
Like uh, was, the, the orange flower thing with her mom, right? It's just like, who told you about that? You did, technically. And like how, she yeah, been called Blink. how observant she is. And like, like that's the only reason she, yeah. Everybody's just like, how could a 100-pound girl go toe-to-toe with a 300-pound so alien? So this took place in South Dakota, Because right? she didn't. Uh, it had to have. It says in the beginning, Northern Great short, Plains, but there's mountains. Technically, Northern <laughs> Great Plains is also Canada. She went clawed there, and there are Great Plains of Canada. Yeah, but I think they said... I don't know where the Comanche, like, all, they were, were. They were in Dakotas. Okay. Um, yeah, I think they have I mean, asked they were the Comanche pretty thing. accurate for what they were telling yeah. Uh, uh, so if they didn't just go into it. Very the much. thing, I, like, uh, uh, another reviewer who's much better than me named Jay Bauman brought this up. Of, uh, Do you guys remember when Jurassic World, the, the newest one, was being advertised? Uh, or not even. It was announced. And there was a still image of the black lady, the black pilot, and Chris uh, Chris Pratt. What's up? Deer? Or deer? Buck, yeah. Ooh. He's got, Buck, felt, yeah. he's got felt on his no antlers. Are you feeling baby? because he's getting a winter damn. Yeah, that's some big bucks. There's two of them. Wow. Buck you. Wow, look at the eye guards. He's a fuck. He's old. There's some healthy bucks over here. Oh, well, yeah, because we're... <laughs> you scared him, bitch. Smell Jack. Uh, <laughs> I, uh... Smell the bear. <laughs> so, that image, it was a still image, and, like, a bunch of douchebags on the internet and me were like, woke, all of this is woke, and it's just like, it's a black woman existing... How the like? I'm just so over this. I'm. It's not an argument. Yeah. The fact that there's representation. I know I don't have to convince you guys that, <laughs> but I just. I'm just so fucking tired. Those aren't criticisms. Calling something woke is not a. The new Chris Pratt show on Amazon, which apparently is just Boomer Theater. Oh, it's I it, trying it, to watch it. Somebody, I I, I read a tweet that said I don't, I haven't made the Terminal List. It. Yeah, I, haven't made I read it. a tweet that said if. Lifetime had a male equivalent, this would be on it. Like, it is it is such a Lifetime original movie for dudes. Um, I, he he came it. out bitching that it was like, well, it's not, it's getting panned by critics because it's... Not woke. It's, it's There's not nothing woke, woke in it's it. There's nothing woke in it. Uh, and, and which is like, just like, what the fuck does that even mean? it's getting panned by critics because this is the same fucking show or indoor movie that's it's been like made It's like whenever you like hear like last... fucking a politician say, we're going to get rid of pronouns. <laughs> it's just like, you don't even know what the fuck that is. Like, <laughs> we're going to get rid of pronouns. You know what didn't have the pro didn't have pronouns the Bible, you're okay, you're all the, fucking the, idiots. I hate this. Or or the, what was the one? Uh, the Constitution doesn't even have pronouns, and it. it's like it begins it's with, with a pronoun we. <laughs> with we. <laughs> there. I saw there was a, a, a trans. I actually on want them to pass the law that we will no longer use pronouns in school and watch the first fucking asshole genius troll who sues the shit out of them um, for not being able to say So there was a you. teacher in Florida. <laughs> so after the Don't Say or Hey them. Bill passed, uh, there was a teacher in Florida that started using, like, pronouns and stuff exclusively to yeah. not, like, identify their spouse or anything, <laughs> but did it in the effect of just, like, yes, my life partner, and it sounded way more queer and everything. It was very funny. <laughs> it was very good. Like, yeah, my life partner and I, uh, they, uh, we'll just use they, them. Sorry, children. Uh, like, it, yeah, it's funny. Um, yeah, there was a, there was a trans uh, comedian on uh, TikTok, uh, who did a pretty good impression of Mitch Hedberg, and it was just like, what if Mitch Hedberg had met a trans person? And it's just like, I met a trans woman the other day, and she told me her pronouns, which is crazy, because my pro- my nouns are just amateurs. Like, it's just like, oh, that's perfect. Anyways. <laughs> so watch Prey. I liked it. You pray love. It's fun. I liked it. I kind of I want to own it. I hope the Blu-ray has special features. Like, is it even being released on that? Or is I don't just know. All pure streaming. I don't know because they keep doing that with some things. Yeah. Some things do get physical. I mean, releases. I don't. Here's the thing. I'm not a giant Predator lore person. Like, I actually legitimately did not know that Predator versus Alien was not canon. No, it isn't. It, and it's like aggressively hated amongst like really big Predator fans <laughs> because so the, also, none of this makes sense. Well, it also makes the aliens dumb, but then Prometheus makes the aliens smart or whatever. I. The I used dumbest to, scientists I love the in alien the galaxy. Movies. I love some of the alien movies. I, hate I like Prometheus. the first two. I hate Prometheus. The third one's fine. That's okay. Fincher didn't know <clears throat> what he was doing. <clears throat> no. You know um, that's a David Fincher movie, Steve? 
I don't watch aliens. Movies. Oh yeah, they scare me. You can yeah. watch aliens. It's not scary. I don't know. Alien is alien is, is fucking scary. fucking is still alien? scary. That's the Cameron one, right? Alien no, is aliens. the first one. It, oh. They do their, the, they do it like the Predator movies do with I their sequels. Know. They add, add an S. S. Do you ever yeah. watch the first Predator, like the Arnie one, Steve? No. That was not scary at all. It's like a really good indictment on ma- machismo. I don't like Arnold Schwarzenegger action movies. I only like Fair. ones where he plays a kindergarten cop. Or a dad a trying of, to get a toy. Or he's a twin <laughs> of Danny DeVito. That's a good one, too. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, so, anyways, yeah, that's, I guess that's a review on Prey. This was actually the most salient we've ever been for a movie review. Well, I just, there's not a lot to talk about. There's not much plot. The plot no. is, if you watch the trailer, that is the plot of the movie. Yeah. Um, but it's just really well done. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to say the performances are great, because there's not really a lot of performance. Like I said, the there. brother's pretty good. Brother's good. Um, she does a really good job of... Good lord, did it make me terrified of 17th century Frenchmen. Oh my god. Well, I Holy mean, shit, you should be. The trappers in that area at that time period, were pretty aggressive. Were fucked up. <laughs> I don't know if you know this. Colonization was bad, Chad. Yes. I don't know if you know White this. White people shit. have fucked the world. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all did some fucked up shit. Mm-hmm. So, anyway, so, fellas, uh, what are we excited for? I'm probably going to go see Bodies, Bodies, Bodies this weekend. I don't know what that is. It is a horror, it's a comedy slasher. Uh, that uh, the trailer looks fucking. I'll, I'll send it to the group. I don't chat. know that I know. What, I mean, I've heard it's got anything. Lee Pace. Um, oh, oh, okay. Uh, uh, Pete Davidson's in it. I'm out. Uh, uh, it's okay because it looks like he's playing towards his type, which is douche. Uh, Sorry, I'm good. Like, like as a joke. Is like there the, anything good coming out? Well, I'm I'm excited for She-Hulk. That's what next oh, that's, week. Yeah. Yes, I believe so. But like good. movies, are there any movies? It's kind of this is a rough month. I'm definitely going to go see the Dragon Ball Z movie that they're releasing. Well, that sounds terrible. There's a Dragon Ball Z movie. The last time they cartoon, did that, cartoon, it was cartoon, cartoon. It's, it's a it's a cartoon movie. It's a cartoon movie. <laughs> I've never seen That's Dragon a continuation of Super. Dirty Dancing is. I've never seen Dragon Ball Z, but okay, sorry. All right, well, <laughs> I enjoy it. I'm the anime boy. <laughs> Like, I don't know that I've ever watched any real thing. I Unless you count Ruby anime as an anime. Anime. Here's the thing about Dragon Ball Z, Matt, is that it is so bad and so full of bullshit that they have had to release it, re-release it multiple times with the, hey guys, this is the true abridged version. And then when they realized that they filled that with stupid bullshit. I have watched some of their bridge stuff. That's comedy. Because it's funny. You know, I gotta tell you, that's actually the best way to watch Dragon Ball Z because you get the base, you get the major plot points, right. but it's more entertaining <clears throat> to watch. Here's what's out currently that's newish. Bullet Train. No. Oh, okay. yeah. That's I kind of... About it that. looks Sandra like Bullock's in it, and I love Brad Pitt, but I don't know. Nah, I'll, but I also Matt, think, let but, me know when you're gonna, you're gonna see it. I'll go see it with you. Well, maybe it's just also that when they first released the trailer, I remember saying like it's set in an Asian ca- country. I think it's Hong Kong. I can't remember or Japan. I would assume Japan. Whatever. Bullet train. Regardless, are endemic it's set endemic. in an Asian country. And it's the <laughs> protagonist. <laughs> Japan has a pan, an endemic of fucking yeah, bullet true. trains. Uh, it's out of control. But the uh, protagonist is a white dude and a white girl, apparently with Sandra Bullock in it, and uh, maybe a black dude who's also an antagonist. The Asians look like antagonists. And I don't all of the watch Asians it. in it seem to be antagonists. Not good. Which seems odd. Yes. But. Hey, about, yeah. Well, no, it doesn't seem odd. It seems par for the course. And I'm, but <laughs> I'm kind of done with the stranger in a strange land fucking trope. Yep. But at the same time, watching it, I feel like they're just trying to make a John Wick style movie for Brad Pitt. So yeah. No, and I love John Wick. We just saw it. Did you see the Nobody? Lost, the Lost City or whatever. Yeah, that's true. Did you see Nobody? With uh, the guy from Better Call Saul? I haven't watched it. Do you, okay, so it's, it's on what, HBO. I saw the poster for it. It's on HBO. It's from the same uh, stunt crew and director mm-hmm. as John the guy Wick. The guy is Bob Odenkirk, by the way. What did I say? You said the guy from... Oh, okay, yeah. Bob <laughs> Odenkirk. Uh, Odenkirk. Minions, The Rise of Gru is still in theaters. We can Fellas. check that out, guys. I would watch that. Or DC, DC League of Super Pets. I would watch that. <laughs> Easter Sunday... Oh, we should watch that. Do you? Well, I, I you, know nothing about it. I haven't looked at it at all. It's about uh, Filipino traditions oh. and, so, and just Joe Coy's like Matt's family out. life. That's out. That Elvis yeah, movie still Asian out. People. <laughs> the, the fucking frown on your face. 
the uh, that Elvis movie is still apparently. Ugh, I, I heard it's terrible. Of course it is. Oh, I don't want to see it at all. It will be terrible. We know it's bad. Hold the fuck on. Are you kidding me? What's up? So Top Gun Maverick is still playing, right? Yeah, of course it is. Well, then I went to Coming Soon. They're re-releasing it. Yeah. <laughs> Why wouldn't they? <laughs> They're just gonna. It will break never it stop money. making money. <laughs> People oh, get yeah. such an American boner over it. Rightly so. It is a good movie. In eight days, the, that uh, Idris Elba Beast movie comes out. Ooh. I'll watch that. So, Want to see a man get eaten by a lion, Steve? Maybe. Is, um, it, about, is it about Christians in the Roman Coliseum? Because sure. that's only uh, lion eating I want to see. I don't know what 3,000 Years of Longing is, but that's coming out in 15 days. It's some A24 shit. Idris Alba's in it, too. Jesus. Yeah, he, he was busy. <laughs> like, ooh, but it also has Tilda Swinton in it, too. I do love Tilda Swinton. Mm. She's my androgynous, like, fucking go-to. <laughs> yes, really? Androgyny's pretty cool. Um, yeah, there's just not a lot going on, man. It's a tough... Tough. I think the pandemic has caught up to everything. Yeah. Do you guys want to go see the Rathacon too? That's not until September fourth, but oh. I'll go watch it. I've never actually seen it. You never seen the Rathacon? No. Well, ha- wait. Have you seen? I'm not a TOS guy. I like TNG. Well, okay, but have you seen the second JJ Abrams Star Trek movie? Yeah. It's basically the same thing at the end. So. I know that. Uh, yeah. I knew that I was supposed to roll my eyes at the con scene. Come! <sighs> wow, we have lost steam, fellas. No, um, I was just sighing because just... I was just thinking of that fucking movie. Yeah. Well, like I said, I'm gonna go see Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. Uh, I'm like, uh, if you want to go see Bullet go Train, s- I'll go see it with yeah, you. Yeah, I'll eventually go see Nope. I liked it, man. Like, I, I did think it was pretty good, honestly. There's some stuff that it's, released it's on Netflix. It's worth your so time. Check so many people are just like, don't waste your time with it. It's just like, it's a movie. I like, feel it, like there's gonna it's be entertaining. Else we're gonna wa- watch. There's got to be something coming out. Well, for me, me, She-Hulk and Andor, I know you don't care about Andor. So, I was thinking about this. Uh, I don't think we need to watch Andor as a group of people that want to watch it. I'm just going to watch it and I'll talk about it. Yeah, 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 I think that's fair. Um, It's going to be very uh, Star Wars lore. Yeah, yeah. So Steve doesn't want to watch that. (laughs) Yeah. Um, I was thinking about this. Uh, There's movies that, like, you can only really watch during Christmas time, right? A Christmas Story, like that's why would you watch that any other time? Like you know, uh, It's a Wonderful Life, Christmas movies, right? There's also Halloween movies. I like, do not like It's a Wonderful Life. That's okay. <laughs> I, I saw it for the first time last like two years I've ago. I've seen it several times because it's always on somewhere. It's always right. fucking and it's on. Just, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm a schlub about it. Oh, it's how long there, laundry fuck. mat? How it is so there, boring. How old <laughs> there, porn theater? How <laughs> old <laughs> there, cocaine salesman? Uh, Halloween movies. Like, I can really only watch Hocus Pocus and, like, movies like that during Halloween. I was trying to figure out what are, like, the perfect summer movies. Like, movies that you can only really watch during summer. And I keep just coming back to baseball movies. Like, The Sandlot and Field of Dreams are, like, those are summer movies. I don't want to watch those when there's snow outside. Uh, Vacation. Oh, the, Nash, sun, the va- vacation Nash series. Vacation. You know what's funny? I, don't, I, don't I showed like Allie Christmas as... Vacation for the first time last year, and she told me to turn it off. Really? Uh, hmm. Clark Griswold reminds her too much of her bio dad, who is a fucking That's narcissist, true. who uh, abusive well, as fuck narcissist. First of all, they're obviously movies of their times. I know. But, but like, at the same time, I've grown out of them. Yeah. I used to love them. Watched them every... Yeah. Christmas Vacation was every... I loved every Animal movie. House and then I realized how fucking problematic that fucking movie is. And I don't... I mean... And I can get away from oh yeah, it's problematic but it was made in blah 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 but at the same time I'm just like I just don't want to watch it. No. Um, it's like American <laughs> Pie. Like I just... No, I, I, don't... St- I still like American okay. Pie. Let's not besmirch that. Oh really? Yeah. Maybe that's just like the generational gap for us what then. Is... The problematicness, but I mean, well, I guess there's just a lot of like yeah. slurs and homophobia. shit. Yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. warranted homophobia. <laughs> <Yeah>. Warranted. 